Jeez. Live. I'm live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Curse of Strahd. Dent. Whoa, ha, 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 ha. I'm not live. Dent. But I have my coffee. Most important thing. Yo, I brewed coffee this morning. You should definitely microwave some on uh, the break. Yeah? Well, it wasn't this morning. It was more like this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> so it's we got good. two hours to get out of that room. <laughs> what room? <clears throat> well, you got out of room. We're not trying to get out of the room. We're trying to the, get out of the house. The the real question is this monster in front of us, that, that giant viney monster that we are fighting. Uh, not exactly fighting, it appeared. Say, we didn't are fight we going to fight it? <laughs> I mean, we are. did we already do initiative, right? I mean, you nope. could just want to hug. Nope, we didn't do an okay. okay, so... I will leave yeah. that to the experts around me and whether or not you want to engage that monster or not. I will follow your lead. I will watch from the other side but of the gate. My, my, uh, my character is uh, somewhat of a coward. Uh, we'll fight if cornered. Oh, dragon. Well, I mean, it all in initiative order could just be the order of running away, too, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just saying is that if you guys, so, if, if, we, if we were cornered, then my character will have no choice but to fight. I don't, but, I don't remember what is going on. <laughs> you don't remember what, what's going on in the campaign? Yeah, we'll recap. Yes. Yeah. Uh, essentially, essentially, uh, essentially the frog left us all there to die. <laughs> the frog left us all there to die. I spent all day thinking about a completely different campaign. So. The, frog, <laughs> the frog is the true bad guy of the entire series. We didn't know this. Yeah. He was the mastermind of the entire place. Lured him into the trap. Lured us into the trap, into the belly of the beast. And now is the only one outside the cage to sacrifice to his giant viney monster. Right now okay. he's gurgling in a corner. Laughing Gur in his frog language. Gur Gurgling or uh, all those things in there. Yep. And they all no. turn into weird golems and constructs. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> all right, who's streaming? Uh, Bully, you're streaming. I I am. I, and, I'm uh, supposed to be. Okay. You are. Let's see it. I Let am. me check my multi link. <clears throat> you got to refresh um, that thing. I'm... Hold on. Give me a one moment. I need mm -hmm. I need to change this to curse. Bam! Uh, my multi says uh, uh, me, Bully, Avalar, and Nil. Is this nice. session three? Session, session three. Hey, session Cammy. Three. Good hey, to see you, Camco. 3D printing miniature figures painting. Role always play, drop the explanation point power. multi because we will have, as always, Tabletop, Apprentice, Nilmer, and Big Ed. Of course, my screen is behind Dungeon Master. Yep. We're just, we're uh, settling in, just waiting for Corgi to finish up her stream. She's right at the end. I think she's trying to push. I feel like she's my light is cheaper. Yeah. Right Oh, she mm -hmm. rated nil. Of course she rated nil. What did you think I was going to happen? I do want to be famous. How did you know? Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. I do. Nice. Uh, I'm glad. Oh, I so want to be famous. I think I'm well, going to change my Twitch uh -huh. name to Big Follows. That's it. Don't. I never okay, want to be famous. I'm going to. That sounds terrible. Yeah, you're going at Get off my screen. That's three in a row. Holy cow. Everybody wants the band hammer tonight. Wah bang. Oh, oh man I'm going to jump over there and I'm going to ask him if he wants to be famous. <laughs> That's how you know you made it. When you get uh, when you start the stream up and within four minutes, you get three yeah. bots asking if you want to be famous. That's how you know you're on the top. Uh, that's how you know you're hey, on the top. Hey, TBG. Famous. Nobody asked me to be famous. I, I, I don't feel loved anyway. <laughs> Corgi rating Nils. All right. So how's everybody feel, over there? And I, was I feel bad because I just banned half my viewer count. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a typical <laughs> edge stream, ain't it? No. <laughs> Jeepers. Jeepers, creepers. Where'd you get them peepers? Jeepers. Hey, it's a good movie, too. Hi, all right. 
Hey, Courtney. How's everyone's Friday? Let's go all the the bathroom and get a drink really bad. My, my, so Friday, my Friday was total chaos. Like, I was so glad when today ended. T today was just one of those days at work that you wanted to, like, strangle the next person that came through the door. Definitely had so, one of those sometimes, yeah. Oh. Well, I'm glad I didn't come over because, you know, I was going to come over and visit Ed at work and everything today. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> strangled. <laughs> You know, it's only a small road trip. Yeah. Yeah. Only. No, we had a we had a um, we had a thing. I, there's an assembly that I rebuild, and I do probably probably one of them a month, right? Um, and the customer pulled one out of storage to put it into operation, and they called my boss and told me that something was wrong with it. So there's there's 20 locations all the way around the outside of this assembly, and they all have to be timed in a certain position. Okay. So. The customer calls and says that a bunch of them are out of time. They're not timed right. So I said, well, that I said, anything's possible. I said, but I, I don't think it went out that way. Right. And they said, well, you know, they just took it out of storage. They haven't used it since you did it. Is it possible that it happened in transit? I said, well, if it happened in transit, it did a lot more damage than just knocking these couple of positions out of, out of time. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it would have had to come up. It probably damaged bearings and everything else. So. I said, uh, I said, can we go over there and pick it up, bring it back, and I'll take a look at it. And they said, yeah, but he needs it back today. I said, okay, no problem. So we can do that. So uh, we send the driver over. The driver picks it up, brings it back. I take a look at it, and everything looks fine to me. So I, I tell my boss, you know, my boss comes down and looks at it, and I show him everything. Everything looks good. So he calls the engineer over at the customer, and the engineer tells him, no, 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 this is you need this and this and this. And and I said, well, I said you're you're looking, it's it's not at a time it's just not lined up with the line by like a 16th of an inch right on these four positions i said so you're dealing with gears meshing so there's only so many ways that a gear can mesh if i move it by a tooth it's going to be off by a half inch in the wrong direction it's not it, so it's like you're either a 16th of an inch off the line or a half inch off the line there, there's no <laughs> like there's no there's no happy medium there so uh um so we wound up calling another engineer at another location and he was like, oh yeah, no, they're all like that. Yeah, it's not a big deal, right? And I'm like, so why is this guy making such a big deal? I mean, he wasted my whole afternoon tearing this thing apart and like proving to him <laughs> that this is how it's supposed to be. And it's like, oh God. Uh, was good old it's the best. Yeah. We all get paid, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, no, I, don't, I, I, I doubt we're getting paid for this job. Because <laughs> you didn't do anything. Hey guys, am I the only one hearing a slight echo? No, I hear an echo. It's probably coming through Avalar. He's probably, yeah, it's probably coming on. from Avalar. Yep. Yeah, yeah it's like the DM. Yeah, Ellie. Uh, Ellie was so loud, and my headset that it was passing through. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. <laughs> In other words, he's saying, "Hey, well, I had, shut up. I had him. I had him up on Wednesday because he was hard to hear through his phone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, which okay. luckily we're all we're I all sorted mean, out now. My internet is all sorted out and happy, happy. So, hopefully, nice. hopefully you guys don't hear it anymore. Echo. I I hear all the echo. I, I do huh? hear all the echo. I'll try it when I talk. Softly. Yep, I can hear an echo when I talk. Echo. Yep. Yep. I'm back. I had to break this little corgi's heart, guys. I went out there and I fed him and he was so happy. And then I then I went in here and he just looked at me like, Wait, you're leaving so fast. Oh, I thought you were gonna say that you, you, you gave him food and it took it away. <laughs> no, I'm not a monster. <laughs> <laughs> she said she me... broke his heart. She didn't say she was cruel. There echo. It is. Echo. Oh, no echo. No echo. Good. All right. I don't know what. Let's was... see. If I talk, I am the one that always makes an echo. Fix it, nope. Avalar. Wait, I don't know what that was genius. about, but it's fixed. Now you can never shut it off. Exactly. <laughs> Did you try turning the power off? <laughs> <laughs> I had it missing. Uh, Gorgi, I could. I couldn't hang. I hope it. I hope the oh, answer was Oh, that's okay. Given. I just, um, uh, that, that thing, that game, whatever yeah. it is, that mini game after you left, was awful. 
It was. I'm surprised I passed that. That was awful. <laughs> oh man, oh man. And then I saved it immediately as soon as it would let me. <laughs> gotcha. So, all right, so we didn't get the answer. It's got to be Leon, though. But it's definitely oh. him. Definitely. <laughs> but uh, definitely. <laughs> with that, I got I got a lot of material going on tonight, and we're already kind of running late. So if we if we're ready, I could just ready when you are. Not, make sure you're not muted. <clears throat> uh, Hit it go. Oh, oh, this is my turn. Um, Let's put a roll 20. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. There's that guy. Me. <laughs> All right. It, it, is, it is a rather lengthy one, so I will try to speak as quickly as I can. Um, everybody's unmuted, correct? Yes. 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 All right. We were uh, in the basement exploring when we left off. So Talk starts exploring a room with a table. There are various branching paths. Down mm -hmm. one of them, he sees a quick flash of movement. He looks and finds himself face to face with the Grick. The group rushes into the room and begins to attack. It doesn't last long uh, before our attack, or the fight doesn't last long before Talk cuts his head off. They begin to explore the halls. Crom notices that there are some footprints on the floor, but there is a point at which they curiously stop. Suspicious that there may be a trap, Tarnock moves to investigate, determines that it is a fake panel that gives way into a spike-filled drop. They hear the chanting from further down that hall, and they use a bench to bridge the gap. At the end, they find a set of stairs. Before they decide, or before they go down, they decide to finish exploring the basement. They say a room with skeletons chained to the walls, and a statue with a pale man, with the pale man from their dream, holding a glowing orb with a wolf beside him. As Talk walks closer to it, he feels a draft from the wall. Upon investigating, they notice a concealed door. Uh, Balfir opens the door and finds a short hallway ending in a ladder leading up. Tarnock, Talk, and Balfir examine the glowing orb. Tarnock, knowing that it is valuable and set out in the open, suspects that it is, once again, a trap. They move down the hall further and find a wooden door. Talk reaches out to open it, and the door wraps around his hand. He calls out to Krom. He calls out, and Krom comes running uh, to help him, but ends up hitting him uh, in the leg instead of the mimic. <laughs> Despite this, Talk <laughs> holds his hand free of the door. Balfir hits it with a firebolt, uh, charring it. Krom swings it at it with his quarter staff, um, uh, or a, a quarter staff imbued with searing smite. The door ignites. The, the the door badly damaged bites Crom as Kirkle throws a fishing lure, throwing it. Uh, this throws it back and kills it. Killed by, by a fishing lure. <laughs> as the door falls, they see a room with a table and an old chandelier. Crom crosses the room to a door that leads into a rotting old bedroom. He sees a footlocker and opens it. He hears the sound, a sound from behind the wall and stops searching the chest to investigate it, but doesn't notice anything. He reaches back into the chest and hears the sound again as Balfir joins him. As he grabs the chain shirt out of the footlocker, two gas come bursting through the walls. They look like the parents, Gustav and Elizabeth Thirst, from the paintings they had seen upstairs. Krom uses inflict wounds on the nearest, and the dark necrotic energy wraps around it. Tarnock runs in and attempts to tell the gas that they are here to help, but they are not affected. Not affected. He slashes out at, or they slash out at him, and the strange property of the creatures paralyzes him. Balfir jumps back and hits one with magic missile. Uh, again, Krom hits one with the dark energy of inflicting, wound, of inflicting wounds and kills it. Just as Tarnock manages to shake off the paralysis, the other gas slashes at him and he falls to the ground. Balfir comes to his rescue and stabilizes and heals him. Kirkle hits the gas with a poison dart that sticks deeply into the creature's flesh. Talk takes one last shot at the gas with his bow, hitting it through its gaping mouth before it slumps motionless on the bed. They begin going through the items that were in the chest. Balfir takes the... Uh, or, yeah, sorry. That is unimportant. That was just me taking it. And I didn't delete it after I did. <laughs> they start to go back uh, the way they had come from and hear uh, the sounds of scratching behind the walls. They come to a room uh, with a well in the center of the room. Krom immediately wanders to the southern room where he finds another chest. 
And that despite the fact that they had just come from a battle that involved a chest, he tries to open the chest but finds it locked with a rusty padlock. He tries hitting it off but fails miserably. Balfir, uh, just to prove a point to the Goliath, easily knocks the lock off of the chest and without missing a beat, Krom opens the chest and finds a silvered sword and takes it. Balfir continues to walk to the next room, breaking the lock off the chest and Krom follows behind. Tarnak and Taco go into two of the rooms and check out the chests as well, finding a few simple trinkets. Once they are finished exploring, they head back uh, to the stairway that leads down. As they go down, the chanting starts to get louder. They walk into the chamber with a grotesque, with grotesque trophies lining the walls. The voices of, of the chanting are very clear now, repeating, he is the ancient, he is the land. Off to one side of the room is a small break in the wall. Kirkle looks through it and sees an octagonal shaped platform in the middle of a rectangular pool. On top of the platform looks like a, an altar stained with dried blood. The chanting seems to be coming from within this room, but he does not see the source. He decides to stay as the rest of the party start to walk down a nearby hall. The hall is lined with empty cells, except for one. Inside is, the, is a skeleton with a tattered black robe. Uh, on its fingers are two gold rings. Prom, of course, eagerly takes them. Tarnak, looking into one cell, sees what looks like a crack in the wall. After examining it for a moment, he reaches, uh, he realizes it is a secret door and opens it. It leads into the room with the octagonal platform and the chanting stops. At the southernmost part of the room, there is a half-submerged pile of refuse in an alcove. Tarnok and Krom see Kirkle through the gate and open it for him to join them. He immediately steps onto the platform. Thirteen dark apparitions appear on the ledge above the room, holding black flame torches. As the chanting starts again, building to a crescendo, one must die, one must die. Krom steps onto the platform with Kirkle. He shoots a sacred flame at them, but it passes through. The chanting continues, one must die. Kirkle jumps onto the shackle and climbs up onto the ledge. The figures seem unaffected by his presence. Kirkle thinks that the figures must be illusions, so there might be some other illusions at work here. In the meantime, Balfir moves to investigate the organic refuge in the south. He pokes it with his staff, but it seems to be nothing. They begin to search the room for any false doors or illusions. Kirkle then moves back through the drain where he had entered the room. It slams closed behind him. The chanting changes. We will not be denied. Lord Goth, the decayer, will rise. And that is where we left off. Dun, dun, dun. Nice, thank you. <laughs> exactly where we left off with Lorgoth, rise. Decay rise as the chamber quivers, shakes, thus falls. Bits of pieces of concrete or uh, stone are falling into the, the pool as this big creature just comes out of the rescue, stomping ground. Where we're at. Because I cannot, I'm in the wrong view. There we go. You good? Everybody see? I'm yep. good. I just, yep. I just scrolled. Okay. All right. I just scrolled all the way down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's all the way down at the bottom. So we're kind of running at this point, kind of the skill check. Uh, we'll go through a little bit of the details as we get progressing into it. Basically, what I dropped in Discord, but real quick, I don't have it in front of me. One thing I didn't have prepared. But basically, it's a series of skill checks. You can choose to fight. You can choose to run. Uh, there will be a sev several uh, obstacles in your way. Uh, and I take a basically a success-failure ratio to as you go through the house. So you will never know if you actually failed or, or passed as we get through it. The objective at this point is obviously either destroy this creature, but you still have to get out of the house. Or just get out of the house. Um, that's the objective. There because the house is crumbling? House is it crumbling, is shaking. shaking, it's moaning. You get a sense it's coming alive. So that's nice. kind of what the skill check is. It's not a it's, so we're not back to back to back to back encounters. We'll just kind of run it as a skill check. Okay. All right. Uh, and okay. there's there's some there's some rules with that with the uh, cantrips and stuff like that. You only use once one cantrip. Um, her character and it runs like an ability check get your get your spell sick uh did we have did we roll initiative or no we no. did not roll initiative yet until okay. you 
so I determine whether you want to fight or flee. All right, so divine sense, I'm guessing this thing is evil. <laughs> oh, this is... Well, let's see. <laughs> It could be neutral. It's basically uh, unaligned. You give this more of a, a, a natural creature, if you will. Is it a is it a fiend, by chance? It is not a fiend. Okay. It's a blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I just I just, I'm just, just need to know a couple say. of things. A fiend, I, I'm going to move to getting out of something. here. I can I can do a different if I have to attack it I don't know whether or not I do an extra D8 damage if it's a fiend but well we're 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 I'm where I'm standing um yeah we got I go. think I think I'm going to run down here and try to crank this wheel to get this cage open okay yeah I will come you're next over to Tarnak and... close shut right yep I'm gonna try pulling up in the grid as he does that. Not yeah. very strong, though. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pulling on this wheel and, and giving the frog a dirty look. Okay, I'm gonna back <laughs> towards. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be backing towards them. Um, but okay. I'm basing, I'm run over there, to, but, um, but keeping an effort. eye on the creature. All right, so everybody kind of swarms to this uh, big ship wheel kind of handle that's got chain wrapped to it. It's going to recall us up, and Barnack's backing off. This uh, beast is starting to move forward towards you guys. Go ahead, whoever's going to pull that thing or try to rotate it, give me a. I was I had it there. No. And then just so you know, um, Zephyr and Balfour are both trying to lift up the portico as well, tax, you know, turning the wheel. Okay. So, so give me a. So, give, yeah. Give me an athletics check. Anybody who's helping to turn this wheel. I'm just going okay. to. Okay. No, no advantage, just a, just a straight athletics. Correct. Nice, dirty twenty. Cool. I think I rolled decently. <laughs> hey, really? Everybody, can, everybody can run it. Roll it. Okay. But if we roll it, we can't ever use that again, right? No, it's no, just, I, no, no, no. That's for spells. This is but, just an ability check. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The thing was basically on cantrips. They're, they're, the problem with them with the skill check challenges is they're infinite, so you get really one. Right. <clears throat> nice. Let's I mean, I mean I'm not helping. Do okay. I have to roll? No. no. If everybody's good. Uh, no, you're not helping. I, yeah. Yeah, I'm not helping. I'm guarding. I'm like guarding. That's what I'm. So I That's think Krom helping Tox spin it, and then um, Balfour and Zephyr are both trying to actually lift up the portacles while they're spinning the wheel. Okay. All right. That's all the rolls in. We'll go ahead and uh, yeah, as Tox pulling and everybody's kind of yanking on this, this this plant beast is just starting to slowly lumber to you guys. Um, you were able to, to twist it with all that might because it's now it's not as easy as it was before. Uh, you do open the gate. Do I have a thing? Oh, we open the gate. Time to okay. go. Go, go, go! Run, All right, so you run, run. You run through the quote unquote uh, trophy room, if you will, and you ran right up the stairs on 30. Up the stairs to go upside. So we're gonna go kind of quick with this. That's how skill checks are. <clears throat> so don't don't pay attention to the map so much, but we'll get you there. Yep. So as you run through the ritual area you make that hard left and this beast is coming but also can't pass through the area i want to grab the frog trophy go ahead get the frog trophy very good yeah. yeah grab the frog trophy uh you you come barreling up the stairs get you guys over there one second all right yep oh you do that i just gotta see if fedex is here real quick yeah okay roll of perception <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i like roll that investigation <laughs> mill i like that it wasn't FedEx, it was UPS. Oh. Alright. Uh, so yeah, you guys come barreling up the stairs. The walls are alive with roaches, centipedes that fall into your heads, your hair, all getting twisted into your hair. You come basically to a fork in the path, straight ahead or to the right. Which way do you go? So let me get you there on the... Uh... And I lost your tip. 
I guess I'm back. Straight. Hang on, I got things on. Hang on, he's he's separating stuff out. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. I'm not even guessing. I was just doing. I, uh, I got you. looking. I, I was just gonna I, guess. I copied and moved your tokens, and then also under. Oh, because we came up to the top of the stairs, right? The top of the stairs were there. Yep, that's right. Yep. All right. So, is everybody there? Can everybody see? I know Neil's coming back. Yep. Let's yeah, I see. Neil. Okay. See everybody's enough. everybody's got the token. Everybody sees. Yeah, I see. Yeah. All right. Cool. So you come running up the steps from the from that roach room, and you got like I said, the walls are alive. Roaches and centipedes are coming out, falling into your hair, swissing up into your head. Come to a fork in the path. Straight ahead. Okay. To the right. Oh, all of us. To the, to, to the right. Yeah, I want to go to the right, and then after that, we can take a left and go up. Yes. Okay. Agreed. Yep. Agreed. Consensus? Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. So as you make down the corridor, corridor snakes about. A rabbit snarl, 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 echoes off the stone of this place. A stench of rot seals your senses. One ghoul. Lurks right in front of you, your path. The, the, yeah, so the ghoul is trying to reach out for you as you're coming running down the hallway to make that left turn. This, this ghoul is just come busting out of the wall. Uh, I, what, are you, what are you doing? Like to attack him. Buy okay. dinner, me. Buy me dinner first. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go left, right? Mm. Yep. Can I like? Yeah. Go ahead and do your attack. I guess. Did it work? Yep. It did. It did. Okay. All right, you hit. I, I hit him with the net. You hit him with he's the now, net. Okay. He's now restrained. Okay. He is restrained. Run, guys! Run, run, run! All right, okay. he's trying to get out of his net. All right, the onwards. Yeah, I'll, I'll use disengage to get away from right. him. You're making a left. He's restrained, yeah. so he can't do an opportunity attack anyway. So onward. He we, can't. Um, it'll be a disadvantage. Maybe I don't know. Pull him back. So you guys, our corgle casts a net. He's restrained. You make a. You go down the hallway. Make a right. Go straight up into Aww. basically the um, screams. Basically the dining hall. So screams rend the night at depths, screaming for your mercy. That screams for mercy, for help, for a quick end. I really. Chop that up. So let me do this. So as you come into a dining hall, you hear screams run the night at depths. Screams for mercy, for help, for a quick end. You come across a man chained to the wooden table that's in front of you. Ration, screaming. And you didn't see this guy before as you came through. A gash runs through the length of his belly, from which blood pulses. I'm trying to be sensitive to this, but blood pulses <laughs> out of the beat of his heart. So it's pulsing with the beat. Um, how or where he came from, you do not doesn't matter, but he wasn't there before. But in addition, you hear them, the cultists chanting, hungering. One must die. One must die. I say we leave him and keep going straight. Yep. Can I roll yeah. insight? Yeah, just leave. Just, never mind. Just leave him. Keep going. <laughs> he wasn't. Matter. He wasn't there before, and all the weird shit we've seen in this house. He's probably yeah. not there now. Don't so, touch anything. I got the feeling anything. they want something to die. Yeah. Just like he can, let, he can let die. Let him have him. Yeah. Onwards. If I have a choice between us or somebody begging for it. All right. It. So let, let them have him. All right. So as you got the dining room, you got you got a path. You got a path to the left, and you got a straight path. Uh, straight up, I say. That's what yeah. I say. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna wait, follow. Wait, wait, wait. But the there was the ladder. The ladder was to the right, wasn't it? Where was, was the ladder at? Here. To, to the right, further, I think. It should be uh, straight ahead. I think it's right. I can't ping. I don't know how to ping. Hold your mouse. Hold, hold left. Hold yeah, left. Yeah, left. Yeah. Hold it left. wasn't. Oh, was it down here? I think it was down here. The ladder. Oh, yeah. the ladder was. Yeah, you yeah. had to go down and around. Oh, I forgot about the ladder. Yeah. Yeah, the ladder might be a faster way to go up. This way to the house. I, I stand over here. Are we here going up or down? Up. I'm gonna. I say. I stand here. We're going up because we're down in the. Say to go this right. way. You want to go through lane. the catacombs? There might that's be the way. That's the way that I say we should go. That's that's the way that we know. That's the way I know will get us out. There you go. <clears throat> so, 
Uh, we are straight, us, straight right? up through the crypt. So. Well, I'm not going to split the party, so. That goes Is that where we're going? Yep. Because as you linger and linger, you hear an occultist getting closer right. and closer that, and closer. I heard that we One had must that die. Way. Yeah, we're, right. we're, 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 like... going, we're going straight. We're going up to the house. Yep. Yeah, we're going to go up through the attic and all the way back down through the house. Yep. Okay. That's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Right, you one second, let me pull that up. <laughs> or, what? I bust through the wall and we get to the first floor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you think That's the, the way we go. The house is alive. It'll eat us if we try to go through the wall. <laughs> All right, so, uh, <laughs> let me grab right, you guys. guys. So, as you guys come pulling through the family crypts, Everybody kind of runs through the spiral staircase cobwebs, walls coming alive with centipedes and everything. Everybody makes it up, but Burgle. I was about to say, of, the do I of need... Rose. Go ahead. Yeah. Don't... Yep. But not yet. You're 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 hitting on it. Let, let me uh. Where did Kirkle go? I was yeah, about so... to ask. Do I need to put her to rest before we leave? So everybody's uh... running up. Everybody's running up the steps, and Kirkle gets the pull from Rose. She can't leave. I, I'll tell her goodbye and, and take her to her crypt. And then All right. Run up behind them. All right. So as you go back to her crypt, was right here. You're seeing shadowy figures of the cult members surround this table, stabbing that individual on the desk. And now they notice you come running across to the crypt. You go ahead and quickly put Rose's two Rose's fingers kill. up. Look like a peace sign. <laughs> so you quickly <laughs> grab uh, Rose's bones, throw it in the. The crypt there, close the door, and he's at peace. She leaves you. Uh, as you come running out, you got two cultists basically right behind you. I'm, it's your choice. Choice to what? I'm, I'm leaving. All right. <laughs> so you go right up the steps with everybody else. All right. Let me take this uh, to. What the heck are you talking about, bro? <laughs> I'm out of here. Right. I'm not joining the cult. I don't know. I got to go. All right. Everybody's come running up the steps. This is the map I don't particularly care for. Because... Uh -oh. <laughs> you come running up the stairs. Got to find text. There's a window right here we could jump out of. No, you can jump out of. We're going down the stairs. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm not jumping out a window. I can't. I can't make that one. Well, the, the house is falling apart, right? So as you thunder up, than in. we're on what, like the third floor? You're on the third yeah, floor. In the attic. So as you thunder up the stairs, the wails of the dead are all around you. You hear them in the mortars. You hear them in the stone. Walls pulse with hordes of spiderlings. Hands are grabbing at your hair as you're coming up, and your shoulders, and your. As you're fleeing up, um, all... they take poison damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Out from the abyss climbs a spider the size of a boar. All it's this is in the staircase, the size of a boar. All is mana, what? All its manables gnashing, all its teeth and stuff mashing. The beast unleashes a glob of web. So well, I don't. I didn't cl clarify marching order, but the first person in that marching order, which I'm gonna probably go back to the first one I dictated for you guys, is now. Uh, it's me. It's me. I told <laughs> let's go this way. So right. I went. I went first. Okay. So um, this actually tells me to do this way. We're gonna go back that marching okay. order. This is how. We, this is how we're gonna do it. Go ahead and roll initiative. So as this boar comes out, throws a web out. I guess there's enough room in Wait, the stairwell. Wait, we got. We got. We got. Stacked we, on each other. Yeah, we all gotta move. This isn't oh, work. Shoot, you're right. Let's... Stacked, so we can't click on our tokens because we're all yeah. stacked. Yeah, okay, well, let's do this. Roll initiative? Do you, you have to click, click on your token, token roll initiative? Oh, see, I don't. I, I use the beyond 20. <clears throat> well, yeah, but you gotta click your character first. Otherwise, it doesn't tie to you in the turn order. Oh. See how you're not, in the, you're not in the turn order? Fair. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I rolled the same thing. Crom scared of big oh, that's, fire. That's cool. Yeah. So Crom, <clears throat> being slowest in the initiative, was not able to get out of the way of the web and is now restrained. Ah, oh, big spider got me. 
Now <laughs> Spider is trying to pull him back down into the dungeon. What's everybody do? I say one must die in Grung. I'm gonna I'm gonna fire bolt the web. Okay. I, I'm I'm okay. right next to him from the time. Okay. You know, you know, tur if you go by turn or I would be right next to him. Right. Uh, so <clears throat> Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna fire bolt the web. Okay. Here, I'll roll that. And instead, he hits Krom right in the face. <laughs> Close. That wasn't Ooh. very good, though. <clears throat> Oof. Ooh. Okay, as you come, you cast a fireball, burns the web up, got Krom out. <laughs> Thank you, giant brother. <laughs> All right, so as you... Uh, you pour up the steps after you got Krom out, and you're pulling up the spider who tricks down back to the dungeon. You come busting out of the secret door into the storage area that you saw. And dusk chokes the attic where you once were windows are now bricks. Oh, rip. Whatever, oh, spirit, rip. whatever spirit that haunts this wretched house is clearly has no intentions of letting you leave. Oh, well, that's great. So, through the door and across the hallway yep <clears throat> well to this door here yep, yep. to the stairs yeah. to the stairs down agreed we, yeah we can't yeah we came in we came in here so we have to go down yep. through that door and across the hall and then down the stairs okay all right let me st i gotta stack you guys again yep i think you can highlight all of us i, I uh, you know what? I can. Sometimes it, get, it grabs other things on my layers. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, because you have different layers. Yeah, never mind. But it's, it might work out here. Whoop. So as you come... I didn't mean to paste it. That'll work. Everybody there? We got rid of our turn order. Yeah, we lost our turn order, but that's that's fine. That's okay. That's all right. Is everybody right. there? Yeah, everybody. I believe I so. I think so. All right, let so. me get to... I mean, if we're sta are we stacked in it? Yeah. Yep. Some some are stacked, yeah. Stacked. All right, so as you come rushing down the those stairs, where oh, that yeah, crazy weird... ladies in this room. <laughs> <laughs> is is the balcony blocked off? Oh, hang on. So as you come bearing down the stairs with where, where the mirror and the door was, as you rush through the door, you hear a woman shout out, "Tell me to push one more time, Anila. One more time, I swear to the Morning Lord." But her curses are quickly consumed by cries of pain. You peek into the room. Woman crowd around a younger girl laying in the bed. Her feet up. Her face twisted with pain. While midwife says the baby's crowning, but God's its ankles first. The balcony, the only way out of this accursed manor, lies nearby. And with frustrated horror, you see that the door has been replaced with bloody, thickled blades that seem to spin even quicker whenever the girl's Contractions rage. Oh, so sickles yeah. are spinning in front of the balcony doorway. Pulsating with her. Uh, that I see that first coming into the room, and it says Nila, by the way. Okay. Uh, uh, no, I, 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 I Nia, I N A L A. Oh, I, was, I heard Nila. Death. I think I said. It. Okay. I think I might have said it. I might have said. I was it. like, <laughs> what? Nila's <laughs> haunting your dreams, all. Oh boy. <laughs> Um, I see. This is what I see when I come in the room. Hey, I'm gonna Everybody follow you guys follow doing that extra guy here. Okay. Okay. I'm heading down the. Are we on turn order or what's going on? Yeah. Uh, no. But I, I'm in the lead. right now. I'm just so I'm trying to decide where oh, I'm gonna yeah, get ahead. Turn order. So I place an obstacle in front of you, and you tell me what you're yep. doing. Then we'll determine <clears throat> initially everything we did. He, right. he said the only way out of the house was out the balcony, or the, at least the only way out of the house in this room. Can we watch them? And what about like, the door? You know, Is that like... a door still there? I'm gonna it, try to see right, the right girl. here. It's it's um instead of the doors, it's they're they're spinning sickles covered in blood. Right, but is this door still here? Yes. So Cargo okay. Shine has calmed the woman down, but no one seems to pay, uh, to pay in mind. Actually, it almost looks like an illusion or a. Uh, a memory. a memory of once past so you're not they're not really there and you don't feel any kind of like presence that they're there. i wasn't really trying to soothe her i was trying to poison her so one would die we can get out of here <laughs> I, can, can, can i, I you said you said that it seemed to 
like the swinging intensified as she like had a contraction. Yep. Can I? Is there like a, a, a rhythm to him? Can I like? Acrobatics. Like see, see a point where? Sure. Like yeah. maybe I can try to jump through. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. As they're coming swinging through. Yeah. I'll okay, help her. With, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna like Mar- I'm like Mario Brothers. You have to learn the path, you know? I'm headed for the stairs. Uh-oh. All right, Tar- Tarnock's heading up the door to head down the stairs. Yeah, I'm going to be right behind Tarnock. Okay, Thalfir? Oh, he's not He's not back yet. Uh, what are you doing? I, I'm going to see if there's a, a way that I can jump through the sickles by watching them. Okay, uh, so like, that means... Like, yep. Like Skyrim. Yep. And, yeah, you're trying to, you're trying to, you're trying to, you're trying to catch that rhythm and jump right through. Gotcha. Yes. And Kurgle, you're doing the same thing, I assume. Uh, well, yeah, I was gonna try to assist her if I could. How? I'm gonna push her. <laughs> I don't want you to touch me. I know. Just wow. Like... <laughs> I'll jump with her, right, right in time. We'll both go through. Okay. So that's you two, Crom. Uh, I'm heading with uh, wherever Tarnock, or not Tarnock, but uh, Tak Atashi goes. Okay. I just need Delphir's answer before we can continue. I'm going too fast. Let me know that. Oh, you're good. Uh, no, it's like it's the level of intensity and anxiety is like good and I. I'm trying to keep. I'm trying to keep it there. <clears throat> Abney, how we doing, man? <laughs> If I finish recording the audio for my next mini game episode, woot! If anybody does not Ooh, know, Omni is the best Minecraft mini gamer that uh, oh. creator that I could possibly think of. He will, awesome. he, he's very humble, but his his games, his puzzles, they're cool. outstanding. He plays Thank on the ripple you. effect. So. I'll be back in I'll be back in one second, but essentially I'm following Tarnock. So copy that. Do you have a shout out command? I'll shout him out. Uh, I do actually. Yeah. Exclamation point S O, I believe. Good work. I'm gonna be taking the stairs two at a time. I don't two know. Two at a time. We're going down. Ob- We're going down. Obni has a twitch though. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. I don't think he really uh, streams too much. I'm not being humble. <laughs> Tango. Take it full on dash. Full Amongst on dash others action. is way. Tango is good, man. Tango is good, but you have you have that sense of fun. Where you actually got to dismantle it to get out. <laughs> okay. It, it's uh, YouTube. It's I have to YouTube get back. Instead of Twitch. It's done. Yeah, yeah, he's more YouTube. I, I should make one for YouTubes, I guess. I had to get back on the Ripple server. I, I've been neglecting it way too long. Got burned out with Minecraft, man. You know how that goes. Yeah, I understand. Mm. I, I I only play really like once or twice a week now for only a few hours because I I kind of mm-hmm. did burn myself out on it a bit too, a little yeah. bit still fun. What's that? Still like the game, still love the game. Doesn't le- hasn't left me. Just uh, wanted to take a. I want to try other games. I was so in a rhythm exactly. of yeah playing recording. I was in that rhythm. I was like, oh, I want to do Skyrim. I want to do then D and D. Yeah, I. Happened. I've been wanting to play like other games lately, and I mean, I still play my Minecraft every week. I get on, I do my builds, but then you know, I play things like Dongon Ropa that tests my mind. Cool. Ah, oh, that is a that is a fair question. I was that is ask a fair question. Well. That's a fair fair question. Okay, I'm back. What? Back. What question was that? Welcome, welcome back. It's the question is the question was do I still see the fog outside as right now with the blades moving back and forth there is you, you can't really tell at the moment. So you were talking about playing other games I'm thinking about starting to play Moonbase again they just had a vehicle monster update so I'm not oh, going You haven't played that nice. forever that game is so cute. It's so it's, it's so, so much fun, you know. It's uh it's it's a lot of fun. I'm oh, sorry, Piz, you see something? I'm not going. If I can't see past the blades, there's no way I'm going. Well, you can see the balcony. Right. right but there's if no I mist can't there. See... But yeah, it's from your perspective with the blades. If I can't see the sky, then it's probably fog there. But I don't want to go. We're going outside anyway. So, I mean, if you want to go out that way, that's a way to go. 
I mean, are you meta telling me that we are actually going outside, or? Well, well, I'm going, going out of the house. I'm going so. down the stairs and out the front of the house. <laughs> your fate is in your hands. Choose. You wisely. can go out that way, or you can come down the stairs with me. If there's an out, those that are way. your options. That's what you we're could doing just right be now. going into a whirling thing of blades into illusion that is a balcony, and then all of a sudden get swallowed up by the house right. as we all exit. So I'm not saying you have to go that way. I'm just saying. Okay. That's that is. You guys a are way making me doubt my choice now. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump with her. Forget it. I'll jump with her. Do it. Yeah, I, I made my decision. I'm not gonna meta. I made my decision. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Wait for Don't be scared. Don't worry. Uh, we'll, we'll keep you in our, you know, thoughts and memories. We'll Don't be scared. Try to candle for you. you have no choice but we get shot in your ear. Don't be scared. <laughs> Trust your DM. <laughs> That's been it. my my motto the entire week. Trust whatever happens Trust tonight. You. Trust you. <laughs> That's a maniacal <laughs> laugh that actually makes me really concerned for you. Are you okay? <laughs> so that so that laugh is actually uh, the laugh from when uh, Brad Pitt in Fight Club gets the shit kicked out of him by the guy who owns the bar. That's the same seen, laugh. I haven't seen Fight Club in so long. So, so it was the it was the first DVD that I bought. Yeah, it's and one of my first ones too. I used to like watch it and then fall asleep. So you'd wake up in the middle of the night and that laugh would be on replay because that was it's the fucking sure. thing on that. Uh, it was the thing on the the screen. Start you know? screen loop. Yeah, it was the, that fucking laugh over and over and over again. So you'd wake up in the middle of the night and that's playing. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Let me go check on my corgi. I just heard his little mournful owl. Woo! I'll be <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> he left corgi outside. I guess she could run the others. Find oh, our right. our fate later. I I think I'm legit out of alien purple, like uh oh, legit out. Oh no! Sorry, Omni. We're we're just waiting for uh, Balfour to get back from checking the FedEx, uh, and if we can continue. <laughs> checking, checking the FedEx. Checking the FedEx. Checking, checking to see if it was a FedEx. <laughs> then the FedEx so, showed up. Um. Question, folks. Yeah. Yes. What color should my crystals be? Oh, we had this conversation the other night, we, didn't we? I thought I thought yes. we said like blue. Uh, we did say blue. I'm I'm now taking a larger cross section. <laughs> are these are these are these uh, under dark crystals? No, these are these are just crystals. He's a what's, um. What's the purpose of the crystal? What is it? It's like a dragon dragonborn sorcerer or something. It's the crystals in his staff. Oh well, then octarine. Octarine. Kind of like an orange, is that like... reddish, I think. Octarine. Octarine is. Also known as the color of magic or the king color, was the eighth color of the Discworld spectrum. It was visible only to wizards and cats. It is generally described as a fluorescent greenish yellow purple. Sold. What? <laughs> yeah, that was. That was, that was okay. A okay, that so. Did so you that have it all be... committed to memory, or do you have it written down in front of you? I just <laughs> Googled it. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll put it in a. I, I'm assuming. Hey, Dom. I'm assuming it's that semi-reflective, like opalish color, that uh, like. Uh, what are those crystals? Soul, soul crystals are in Skyrim. So, soul crystals, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, or it, whatever the fuck it's called. It's not soul crystals. It's soul. I, I know what you're talking about. Soul gems. Soul yep. gems. Soul, yeah. soul gems. gems. Yeah. World of Warcraft too. Make the shards. Yeah. <laughs> Hey Dom, I, I see you. Over I knew there. what you were talking about. So yeah, big purple with the greenish yellow shimmer. Guys, I might move forward a little bit just to yeah, move fine. along. Where are we at? Yep. yep. Cool. All, good All right. Totally down. So just I'm gonna. With us. I'm gonna take, assume take that. Us. I can't assume anything. I'm just gonna play him with Tarnock. Yeah, he's not jumping take, through the blades. He's not going through the blades. Yeah, he is a big guy. He's probably not very nimble. That's was my thought. I'm like, I'm not going that way. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, let's resolve the daring jump first. Okay. That will be 
suffer and crush. On your dexterity, jumping. From... Got uh, blades in front of you. A check, a check, an acrobatics check, or just a straight yeah. dex check? That's correct. I'm sorry. It's an acrobatics. Okay. Ooh, all right. Just gonna wipe the sweat from my brow real fast. Ooh, not too bad. Jeez. I mean, for spinning blades, oh. I wish I had her roll. Uh, <laughs> right? Okay, so uh, as Zephyr, did I try it right? Okay, Paul say, mm -hmm. waiting for that opportunity. She jumps onto the balcony through the blades. No damage. Superhero pose? Superhero pose, yeah. fist down, yes. cape flying, <laughs> laying it back behind her, hair flows back. I shouldn't have tried to jump backwards. Landing. I shouldn't have tried to jump backwards. <laughs> Corgle. Corgle is trying to pulsate. He jumps. One blade nicks him. Boy. 1d10 one one D damage, please. Oh, boy. Perfect time to roll uh, low. Wait, you want me to roll it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can run it. Your damage is in your hands. Roll in yeah. it. Two. Good. <laughs> You guys, <laughs> you guys, as you jump onto the, make sure I'm reading the right paragraph because I think I just, it, it moved it, I'm gonna read it wrong one. As you jump onto the balcony, a sharp wind blows and the world itself, as you looked over the balcony, falls away completely. Misty depths of a thousand feet below and the wails of damned souls and thrived scream from below. And the cliff dropping into the void below. What do you do? But I'm gonna go back to the other group who's about to run down the steps to eleven. All right, guys, Belfield's back. All right. Okay. So I put you with. Uh, you wanna, uh, did you want to jump through the blades, or did you want to follow us downstairs? <sighs> yeah. We decided you were a big guy. We didn't know if you'd want to or not. Technically, yeah, they made I, it out. I don't, I don't make... think, you know, a, a giant would be a good thing to try to jump through the blades. Yeah, that's what we assumed. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you, you could have just stuck a rock in there and stopped it and then walked through. But, I mean... What rock? You have rock? Know, the bed. The piece uh, of the, I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> um, hold on. Let me see the rules. You have rock. Okay, we're headed Actually, downstairs. Um, give me one, let me look at one thing just for a quick second. Um, mm -hmm. the... Down the stairs Actually, I am going to jump through the blades, but before I do, I'm going to do disguise self. Oh, wait, no, that just makes it look different. But it doesn't yeah, actually... that doesn't actually change your shape. It's different with a fur bulk. They can actually change their shape by three feet, I think. Still... Uh, no, it's, no, just, it's, still, it's still just disguise self. It's still, it's still just visual. Okay. Yeah, it's just visual. I, I'm looking at it right now. Okay. You may, it even says you make yourself, you know, including all yourself, look different. You can seem one foot shorter or taller than that, you know, all that stuff. So that's all I can do. Um, so I guess I'm going to go with the other guys. Down to the stairwell? Yep. Okay. So let's get them going with uh, that area. But as you come running down, everybody should be, have their token. I stacked you a little bit, but uh, as you come running I'm still here. Cool. Okay, I see what I was trying to do. All right, sorry, it was confusing wording. So as you come running down the hall, the stairwell, you hear metal footballs crash against the wood and ring out of the marble staircase. The four wolved the four wolf helm suits of armor that were lined against the wall, if you remember, a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago, has now come to life of its own. And in the arcane cameras that they joined together, shield and shield forming a base of two rank deep, uh, they call it a, a intellects, but basically a two ranks of suits of armor are now blocking your path coming down the steps. Hey, Lynx. Okay. So I'm I'm leading, right? Still. Yeah. I I'm gonna two or whatever. Um I was gonna say I'm I got I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna shield up and and try to charge him. Try to charge him. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So yeah. I don't have a shield. I'm just gonna uh, lean the glaive forward and charge with the glaive out. Okay, just trying to put a number in there. So I can't, put up, I can't put up two ranks here. So. <laughs> All right, so you coming down? You got uh, Tox is going to try to basically ram into him, correct? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if we can get too wide on the stairs or not. But I, I basically he's he's going glaive pointed at him and I'm, I'm i got the yeah, shield up and i'm just gonna i'm just gotcha, gonna try yeah. and you know throw my shoulder into him with the with the shield up gotcha now you can't go too wide about five woods all right so you're coming down okay. give me a uh athletics check because you're gonna try to shove and push through type thing right oh, are you doing something different or you want me to oh, 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 oh net one baby oh boy yeah so as you come running down you do trip tumble down the steps and do hit them and they kind of fall into one another knocking each other down <laughs> but I'm laying in the middle of them <laughs> good okay so what happens to me well he's got them all cleared out so what do you want to do <laughs> well he's I was laying... running with I was like running with my glaive out okay um, so he so he, he went down first knocked him down so they're all prone now pushed away you're coming down. There's. What do you is want to do? Also, is he also down prone? Not Tak is yes. I jump. I'm Over me. Jump. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to clear. The, I'm gonna try to clear. Well, I'm at full run, so I'll just try to clear the mess of. People. Okay. To go where? Jump over and do what? Down the stairs, right? Where we're headed. So, yeah, yeah I, well, I guess we're continuing down the stairs. Yeah, so uh, let me reiterate. They're, they formed it. So the, the force uh, uh, ar uh, due to armor on the two walls formed two ranks in front of the stairs. So you literally came down the steps, hit basically the second floor, and charged them to push them out of the way. So they weren't up the stairs. So you coming down the stairs, you're clear to come down the stairs now. Oh. So basically, so where I'm... your tokens are right now is where you're at. So Tog came down, trip hit them, knocked them down, over, they're pushed down, they're in prone, kind of in the back towards the, uh, up against the fireplace, and Tox just get, yeah. is laying there. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going down the, st I'm going to continue down the stairs. Okay, you continue on down the stairs. Yeah. And I'll, come I'll, 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 I'll scramble to my feet. Okay. Yeah, so as I'm, to I'm feet. charging from the stairs, I'm going to grab Tox and, like, lift him up as well. I'm, I'm continuing to keep running. Okay. Since I'm, you know, seven and a half feet tall, so I'm going to go to lift him up while I'm, you know, coming down and coming through. <laughs> mm -hmm. Leave no man behind. Oh, yeah. So you yeah. got to pat. You can continue on down to the first floor, or you can go left and right, and, or the servants' room. I'm going down. First, first floor. First yeah. Floor. So you, you go down to the first floor. Let me go back to Neela and Kurgle, who's on the balcony, staring at a void with the damn souls, hollering and screaming. From thousands and thousands, you can't even see the bottom of this thing. Oh, um. yep, that's what I was thinking. Ow! Oh no! Go down. Just climb. I, I only see two ways out of this. We can break the floor and go down to the first floor, or try to swing out and over the balcony and back in. Um, let's see what I have in my backpack. Come on, crowbar. Um, <laughs> I have a rope. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that she's leaning down, pulling stuff out of her bags. I got a rope. So. <laughs> His third, eye, his, th his third eye, his third eyelid blinked. <laughs> like I could nice. tie tie the rope to like something sturdy on the balcony, and we can climb down to the entrance below. Okay. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Nice. Right. <laughs> Did I get everybody over too?
I'm hoping that this is all just an illusion. Or else, or else you're okay. You're all gonna see so you're gonna tie your <laughs> you're gonna tie your rope on you're gonna tie your rope onto the balcony handrail. You throw it over. Mm -hmm. It dangles down. What are we doing? I try to climb uh, down. Is that try to because the 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 entrance doorway is right below us, right? Because that's mm -hmm. how Kirkle got up here originally. So I'm gonna try to climb down to that. See okay. If even even down there. I'll give stay me. and try to hold the rope for. Okay. Just in Go case. ahead and give me a head and give me a acrobatics check. All right, let's say athletics. Athletics. Climb down the rope. <gasps> you're under distress athletics. because you're looking <laughs> down, going, "Oh my goodness!" You're under duress because you're like, "Oh my goodness!" Hey, keep your but fingers you're... crossed, folks. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not the worst. <sighs> As the Kirkle's holding the rope, trying to keep your weight up, you you keep glancing down and you, you see your vision just sway because you're like afraid of heights and your grip loses its strength as you fall down. Oh no. Down. Boom! To the ground, right in front of four. Okay, give me a, um, I guess it would be one, one, 2d6 for the fall damage. But you land it right on the front porch. And Kurgle sees it. Yeah, I'll just climb down the pole. <laughs> okay, give me a. Hey, you know untie my rope. Untie my rope. Yep, you can do that. Yeah, I'll okay. untie the rope. <laughs> you untie the rope, you climb down. Because you have no sense of fear with this, because you just honestly saw what happened, uh, you climb down, no problem. Got down to the first floor. And as you turn, there the gate to get out to the street that you were at is starting to close as the mist that was abated on the, on the front yard is now starting to close. That I'm going to turn into the other group who's coming, barreling downstairs to the first floor into the main, uh, if you will, the living room area. I'm down Great. slowly. Take your time. How much did you take for damage? Six? That's not bad. Six. Yeah. One was a total crit fail, which is good. Yeah. Nice. Oh, come on. They don't put these in there. <coughs> and you're out. You're at the you're at the bottom. So you're you're way ahead of everybody. You're doing great. Yeah. You're golden. No problem. Yeah. I and mean, I went, you know, and I with and I'm with Deborah can just run because she doesn't know us and we're all pains in the ass anyway, so you know. <laughs> That's basically it, you know. It's good. You're in the exact position we all want to be in. The peace out position? Yeah, the peace out position. That's awesome. Fine. So don't worry about it. I mean, you literally Let's just apologize. jumped over over a fallen <laughs> canyon. You're like, nope, bye. Yeah, well, uh, well, okay, so I I figure it as I was running at to do exactly what he did. He trips and falls. I just jump over him, and then down the stairs I go. It just keeps going. Uh, there's four people behind me. I, Somebody I don't pick him up. Somebody pick him up. I'm in motion, people. Yeah, we're going. It. It's I'm hard to motion. stop a freight train. It's fine. It's hard to stop a freight train. Noted. <laughs> See, although I would have also gotten if we had made it outside, let's say, and and Tak is stuck inside. I I also would have turned around to go back. So it's it's okay. It, so it balances out. Now. <laughs> yeah, I mean. It balances out. Technically, if we don't know each other, we don't know whether you would or not. That's it. Yeah. Hey, it's fine. It balances itself out. It's fine. You know, it's all good. That's the okay, fun so... part is that we don't know each other, so we're kind of like, I don't trust these people. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I figured he would leave me behind. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. 
<laughs> you you actually probably wouldn't leave me behind, but that's all right. <laughs> I'm trying to understand their logic here. All right, so as you come barreling down the steps, you come into the fireplace and you come turning to the left where the archway was. Like, this is not door archway. I kind of change it. Uh, but there is a, as you're coming down, let's get you guys into the foyer area. Uh, you see the double oak doors that you, you walked out of mahogany, mahogany, sorry. But the uh, as you come right there, you can see Zephyr and Quirgel come basically, well, Zephyr falling and hit come down and Quirgel slowly coming down. But as you come running up there to, to meet up with them, the door is shut, slam shut with the ominous thunder. And as you look about the room, desperate to escape, and when you look back, the bottom half of the door has been replaced by brick. Basically, what I'm describing is as the door shut, and you're looking around, um, because it echoed off like the thunder, and you come back to the door. The door is not a door anymore on the bottom half. It's actually replaced by brick, defying all logic. Wood has kind of melted into a rose of moldy brick. You blink into your mountain horror, and it's that span of a second, more of the door has been converted. You keep your eyes wide open, so as not to cast away your chances at breaking down the door, and that's when the feet cloud of filth rolls in. Death, rotten. Thing in your eyes and drawing in tears. The walls are brutal and now rotten. The wallpaper hangs in slivers, and behind the plaster you hear the screen of rats. And and that's in that's in this section here? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So basically what you're doing is you're coming down the steps after defeating that, and you're coming down, you made that turn. Right in here, this region, and then as you saw that door shut, you're looking back, you're hearing the walls rot and tear apart, you hear scrapes of rats through the walls, things are breaking down, plasters falling, things are happening. You take two glances at the door, it's coming, it was once wood, half brick, a little bit more brick. What do you do? You still got a little bit of wood left. Can I try and break that open, the wood open? Well, that's what I was going to say. My... I, I just attack it with my glaive, I guess. All right. Go ahead and roll. Let's do a, because uh, you're going to break it, so let's go ahead and do a athletics. Yeah, I mean, and I'll, I'll help with my axe. Okay. Oh, is that an advantage? Or do we both just roll? You're just chopping. You both roll. Okay, so as you're chopping, 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 you hear duds as you're, as like the brick was trying to lay itself behind it. Uh, but you're breaking through, breaking through, and everything just crumbles right in front of you. Zephyr and Kurgle kind of look, watch the, the bricks just crumble in wood, and look up and see you guys. So you guys now are sitting on the front porch. Get there to my reading. So now you're all back together, and you're basically in the front porch of the courtyard, and mist is closing in, the door is starting to close. The mist clings to your every stride because there's a little bit of layer in the, on the ground. And in the moaning wind, you hear the squeak of the metal gate that is closing shut. And with that, your only chance of salvation. If that door shuts, you don't know what's going to happen. As you rush to the courtyard to try to get there, two figures appear, Rose and Thurn. The girl shouts, you can't leave us, you can't, as Rose shouts. And with that, as you guys are running to get to the front gate, let's roll initiative. Oh, God. Uh, we need you to split. Yeah, I'm just gonna say we need to get split apart so we can actually click on our guys. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Why are we rolling in it? I'm I'm just running. Well, we did the we did the same thing for a um for a turn order coming up. I know, up the but stairs. what are we fighting? Well, we weren't fighting anything before. We were just seeing what order we were in. So they're in front of us. So we're gonna we have to try to make it up. We have to try to make it to the gate. Yeah, but what? Going are for they? the gate. I don't even know what it's I mean. Rose and Thorn. Oh, I'm so last. How did I get to be last? <laughs> Rod. Um, I see my name didn't pop up on the turn order, but on the side thing it shows me. Go ahead, roll again. I'll put it in there. Let's try it again. You gotta click you go. your token. No, I did. Both times I had the token clicked. Oh. Maybe try clicking it once. Maybe it's it happens. Just... Well, it happens. this time. I'm just kidding. That's it. Yeah, it's probably something. 
Too bad I had to take the first roll. The second roll was a lot nicer. <laughs> All right. Everybody in? Yep. Looks like it. All right. So everybody's kind of hauling to get to the gate. I've given all I your mount, you get, you get, huh? Could use some clarification. The uh, fog is consuming the house from within, and there's an opening at the gate of of like clearness Correct. that we're okay. That's all. Correct. Yep. Yep. Yeah. The gate's closing. Hold on. Say hi to my daughter. <laughs> Hello, daughter. Hello. Um, I'm not my daughter. <laughs> so as uh, uh, I lost my train of thought with that. Ah, yeah, so the mist is... Yeah, you're right. So as you're running towards the gate, the mist is closing behind the door. It's, like, chasing you on the sides of, like, say, your walkway. The school runs out to the iron gate. It's starting to close in within you. You guys are hauling. Kind of, that gate's closing. Gargle, being the jumper that he is, jumps. He's jumping faster than everybody else. He gets through the gate. As Ribbit. the gate shuts. The frog is always the last one through the gate. <laughs> always as the it frog. shuts... As the gate shuts, the miss corpse rates the entire rest of you parties. I would AC. like to ask Rose to open the gate. Rose is no longer there. All you see Rose is miss. She probably Rose. doesn't understand Grung. Those aren't the children. Rose. That's why I was. <laughs> so all the all the miss incorporates the entire rest of the party. You basically suffocate this. Point. We're going to flip back to Corgle. His perspective, since he was the only one who made it out. With that, let's take a five-minute break. We're all dead. Aww. It was fun playing with you guys. No, we're yeah. not. We're, we're not. <laughs> we're not dead yet. We're just suffocating in the mist. Yep. It's cool. It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everybody I knew Corver was the mastermind. Sir not... named Smokey. It's fine. We're not in the house. It's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad to not be in the house. I, I take out my N95 mask. <laughs> <laughs> it may, it may paper. In a place that's the only one must die, and you're the only one, alone. I gotta tell you, it's not too uh, reassuring. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go put my erect back screen on. Just take a quick five minutes for the session, guys, and um, I'll let Discord just play. Cool. So yeah, Bully, I went through a...
you'll kill us all. Be all right. Well, I'll just roll new characters. You're supposed to That's have it. a backup anyway. It's fine. I do have a I do have a backup, and you guys are gonna hate her more. I don't have a backup, but I can make one. You want to keep this yep. one alive, cause well, yep. you're the alternative. I have a backup Ooh. ready. You guys can make, <laughs> make gargle. <laughs> gargle. <laughs> Gargles. Cousin. Come on through. Welcome back to the stream. I want to throw it back over to the screen. Let me get some notes out. Too many windows open. Too many windows open. I feel you. Okay. So, Gorgle makes it out. As he turns around, the, gul the mist engulfs the iron gate and everything about it. Everybody else that's inside the exalt uh, the mist now is basically taking exhaustion. We had to take one point of exhaustion for being in the mist. How do you do that? I think it's in D&D Beyond. It should be something. It's, it, it's in conditions. Yep. Um, okay. Yeah, oh, down at the bottom of the right, right underneath, right right underneath your HP. Yep. <clears throat> yep, I got it. So as the second person, uh, I killed my turn way too quickly. Oh, this is right. So as Krom comes up, uh, right behind Coral, the gate slams, the mist engulfs everything. He reaches out for the gate. He can't feel it through the mist. At the Coral, Coral, what are you, you're out, you're out by yourself. Yeah, and misses. You see the road, miss covering the, the forest uh, to your right, like your um, your direction you were heading when you first encountered the two children. Uh, it's just mist, thick with mist, and behind where you came from is thick with mist. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll give them, I'll give the help action and try to push the gate open. All right, so as you reach through, the throw us a line. So the mist is there. You guys are trying to talk to one another. No one's answering on both sides. As you reach through the mist to try to grab that iron gate to try to pull, your hands are just touching nothing. Nothing's there. So I can't even see the, the gate anymore? Oop. Oh, well then I'll take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> so as you lay down take a nap, you hear clapping. And to your right, where you're heading, a large, dark figure comes walking out with a cape behind him. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. There is oh, what they Lord. say. Small stew for comfort. For the strongest. Always beware of the little guys. <laughs> uh, so who you call little? Oh, sorry. sorry. So tell me. Yeah, that genie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he speaks a lot. Everything. Tell me, is that genie still with you? Uh. Maybe. Maybe now you could be my successor. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. So out of all of those people, you were the one that made it through. Tell me, how did you like my <laughs> my test? <laughs> your, your little sorting hat. I think. I think you're uh, a bit sick in the head, but. Ah, sick. Funny uh, how that is. Yeah. <laughs> One who gets slaves for a genie? <laughs> Am I the monster? <laughs> none, none, of the, none of the characters inside this, the uh, mist are hearing this at all. Before you take another second round. Oh, man. Oh. And, and I take no offense to the slave thing. You know, just want to throw that out there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to my lands of Barovia. So this is not the guy that, that brought us there originally. Oh. Apologize, I should introduce myself. I am Strahd. Oh. 
Belsage. Bels <laughs> Belsage. Can't pronounce it. Kirkle. As he bows. Gracefully. I mean, do you need Kirkle. help with something? How do I get back to my life? Oh, once you relent in my lens, do not escape. Okay. But you can follow me and become, as I say, my successor. If you so wish. I mean, everybody in the mist cannot hear again. It's not hearing anything. They're struggling to try to get to the gates. And there's just nothing around. You can't even feel the people next to you. Or you take another round. Okay. What happens I don't when even we know, hit what, six? What does this mean? I don't even know. What it this takes means. away our skills, and if we hit all the way up, we'd be dead. Exhaustion <laughs> sucks. Yeah, it's like the worst thing that can happen to you. Yeah. Okay. Good. Hey, frog, feel my, <laughs> feel me. We're suffering in the mist. Don't forget about us. Okay. Yeah, I'll throw out that. Uh, free them. I'll do the whole <laughs> successor thing. I think you misunderstand here. I, I, plan. I don't take. So. Strangely, I already have a master. You might have to take it up with him. Oh, all in due time. All in due time. So what is it? Uh, I don't know. Me? What is it? Yeah, let's go. All right. With that, all your last vision you see is his face growing grotesque his eyes blood red bangs out as he engulfs you your vision goes to black everybody else in the mist at the same time pass out your vision is now black basically taking that around exhaustion so we're all dead because it's we... fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. We only have another half hour left. It's all right. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that's enough time to for those who hadn't didn't have an extra character. To make we're gonna it. have a, a vampire frog, it's and fine. we're all gonna die in this. In a, it's fine. In a, just let it roll. Sweat locker. Just let it roll. <laughs> another the thirty minutes. Another here. thirty minutes, and you'll have a week to think it over. Just breathe deep. Just breathe that's deep it. and let it breathe happen. Deep. <laughs> just let it happen it's okay <laughs> oh my gosh guys I got five words <laughs> put your trust in Avalar <laughs> fine I'm pretty sure he's not planning to kill off the majority of the party I cast oh, magic yeah. missile at the darkness <laughs> <laughs> passed out <laughs> She doesn't have magic missile anyway. <laughs> <laughs> As a science sort of light, then why do you have to cast magic missile? <laughs> As the science engulfs all of you, including Corgo, Corgo feels the bite on his neck. As his last feeling, then all of a sudden you hear kiss the frog. <laughs> yep. By the way, he takes uh, poison damage. Uh, he's a vampire. <laughs> he's immune to poison. Um. um. It is funny. <laughs> He's a vampire. I mean, but as you, as that last feeling you have, um, then everybody all of a sudden starts hearing wagon wheels. I don't have the wagon wheel soundtrack, but you hear wagon wheels. Then you start feeling emotion left and right. Bump. Rock. Left and right. Wagon wheels. Horse hooves. As your eyes... Well, as your vision comes back, you find out you're actually you're opening your eyes. Your party's now around you inside a, a state. Red seats, black exterior. As you peek around the you get your surroundings, you look out. The, there's four black horses pulling what looks like to be something of a driver, but you can't merely make it out. You look around each other. Green. But the pieces, the cook of protection that you have is still on you. The sword that you got is still, rolls that you have is still in your possessions. 
the deeds that you got, the letter you got, still in your possession. That you're riding in the state. Is the frog with us? Yeah, was everybody's, too. everybody's okay. together. Everybody's together in the stage coach. You can see eight. You got a basically, what I guess, six. So it's three and three each side. You're basically coming too and you're waking up. So, long rest. Yeah, everybody's health back to normal. Everybody's spell slots are back to normal. And reduce one Wait, how many exhaustion. exhaustion points? All of it. Oh, cool. Oh, back to normal? Yep. Okay. I take. As you get to your surroundings, you come to a lasting impression. Is that a dream? Pitching yourself. <laughs> but we're all in a stagecoach, so um, this isn't where we were. We went into the place, and now we're here. So there's no way it was a dream. I'm gonna climb on top of the stagecoach. I was. Not I was able gonna to understand what they're saying anyway. I was gonna say. I assume there's a there's a window in the stagecoach. I'm gonna. There's a window, but it doesn't roll down. And you try to do oh, the doors okay. to try to get out. Uh, and it's, no, it's locked or some force. Okay, so, so we so we can't we can't see a driver. We we can yeah. just we 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 hear. You can make out a, going on. Correct. You can make out a shape of a driver. Okay, I'm gonna freak out and just keep yanking on the door. And you're you're feet, yanking feet on, on the thing. walls. Yeah. You're yanking on the thing. And it's great budget. sounds. <laughs> Ain't budging. Obviously, this we all... is panicked little frog. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be looking at him. Will I notice anything different about him? No. Yeah. Nope. Well, I I've just had enough of this nightmare. Okay. I'm trying I, to get Embry's, out. Here's Embry's a here's a question. If everybody uh, gets to one side of the stagecoach and then charges the other side of the stagecoach, can we actually knock the stagecoach over with all yes. of our combined weight? So then we'll be in a knocked over stagecoach that we can't get out of. Doing that. But the um, stagecoach won't uh, won't be rolling anymore. We'll be stuck. We'll be the stagecoach will come to a stop and then they'll have to let us out. The question is, do you suggest that? Mm, it's an idea um, up in the air. We all. I, do if you I'm say already that doing in it. character, I ignore you. I'm gonna sit there. Do we do we all <clears throat> remember? Do we do we all have the same experience? We all remember Each, the same thing. Yeah, as you all are coming to, you remember. You remember no, no, I'm asking, I'm asking that to the group. I'm asking oh. that to the group. <laughs> so you, you mean do we do we all do we all have the same? Do we all remember the same stuff happening? Yes, I'm asking you. Do we all remember that experience? I remember being so, lost so, in so the what? Mix. So you basically you you run through the experience and you're looking to see if we all remember the same thing. I, the, Ribbit. The, no, I can leave it as open as that. I'll leave it as open as I say it. We didn't know each other before that experience, so the fact if I just lean out and say, "Do we? Do we all remember that experience?" Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um. Balfour says, "I remember yeah. getting lost in the mist and blacking out." That's it. I remember. I, I remember I almost weak. making it out of the. I remember making it out of the house and then woke up here. Okay, so you remember the house? Yes. So that that definitely happened. I remember the frog I getting out. You probably remember the frog talking too. <laughs> oh, that's a figment of your imagination. All you heard was a ribbit. Ribbit. Rib ribbit. But are we gonna eat the frog? Good luck. Uh, we do we have any food? Because <laughs> I don't know how long it's been since we've eaten anything. Uh, there's no way that there's no way that the that house didn't happen. It wasn't a dream. It's not no, I, let me let me look no. at my pack to see if I have any it, rations. It had it, it had to be real, right? Ribbit. <laughs> I got a mess kit. So, oh, I have one day's worth of rations. <clears throat> because we, nobody knows how we got there, so for us to get here, it had to have happened. All of a sudden, you see. All of a sudden, you feel the stagecoach stop. I will tell them. In primordial, because I know some of them can hear or understand. It was a test. 
some guy named Strahd, and he wants me to succeed him. Um, you speak will, very bad giant. <laughs> I, w I will, out of nowhere, translate for him and stare at him weirdly. <laughs> How does he know this the, was a test? The, the frog thing. Rod. The frog and, thing. Says. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at Zephyr like, you've known what he was saying all along. <laughs> he said nothing of importance. <laughs> Until now. I could pick up a couple words. Yeah. Well, what do you can mean? I open the door You're... now? I'm still yanking on the door. What do you mean he wants you to be his successor? Oh. Who is this? I don't know. Strat? He, so he just like a they... superhero. He had a cape on. And, uh, yeah. I woke up here with you guys. Strahd, is you the... brought... He's just saying stupid stuff again. <laughs> I wasn't the frog going to ask him if he's Robin. I'm not going to translate that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, first off, did Zephyr tell that he said that the guy was wearing a cloak? Yeah, I would have translated pretty okay. much what he said that time. Yeah, right, so, so, you, so you told us, and I'm yeah. going to ask if he's Robin. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> no. Um... No. <laughs> the frog is still yanking on the uh, stagecoach doors, answering the questions, and boom, the door comes open. Both doors open. Uh, are we moving? No, we stopped. No, he said he said we stopped. Ha! Those doors come flying open, dude. My staff's in one hand, and my shield's protecting me in front of the other. Okay. Yep. I'm going to okay. draw my rapier. It's so close. Okay. I'm kind of backing up to the corner away from the doors. Okay. I'm just going to jump out and look around. All right. Uh, Corgal jumps out. What he notices is he's on basically a road. Mist is climbing up and closing the road behind you, but it's in creepy looking forest, right? The, the, the tree limbs and whatnot are kind of crawling over, but as the mist is kind of moving. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, look around. There's black pools of water. Stand like dark mirrors. And then around a muddy roadway that you're kind of standing on. Giant trees, looms on both sides of the road. Uh look one direction you can see in the distance did he cut it out like a... did i cut out or did I cut no out? i hear you you, you didn't cut out I hear you. okay you see what oh. in the distance what looks like a wall structure it's probably a good couple hour of journey but you can see it kind of breaking through the mist a little bit okay now you cut out or did yeah, you I just yeah. stop i stop i Yep. Okay. Oh. Well, so okay, so the so the wall the wall in the distance, is it the direction that the carriage was taking us or was it behind us? Correct. It was the direction that your carriage was taking you. Okay. Hmm. I I missed what was said. Because it cut oh, off. Uh, we're, these are, we're on we're in a forest with some black glassy pools of water, uh on a dirt road leading towards a stone wall that we can just barely see. Okay. And the mist is behind us, kind of in the woods, slowly creeping up to where we are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So I, I guess I'm going to, I guess I'll jump out of the carriage. Okay. Um, I'm gonna and again, next to the again, look, look at the, look at the driver. Is there a driver? <laughs> you know, you see a figure with a kind of like a, like a, not a cowboy hat, but it's a round hat. Uh, hiding his face, he has kind of what looks like a uh, a trench coat of some sorts with the with the uh, neck folds up, mm -hmm. and he just he just holding the horses, looking straight ahead. The derby, thinking about a derby hat. Yeah. I, as you, you look down, I think it's, I think look, it's just a wide brimmed hat. So there you go. Yeah, wide brimmed. As you look down the figure, I'll see uh, he's holding leads. You would expect to mm -hmm. see hands. You see gloves. You don't see skin. You like almost like a void. Okay, so it, so it's like it's it's like no, nothing there. There's structure. Okay. There's a form, but you're not getting an appearance of a neck or jawline. Right. There's a there's structure, a but there's no essence. Okay, down. Right. 
I'm gonna smack the horse on the ass. See you, Dom. So I'll have a good day. Bye, Dom. As you do that, the, the horse looks back at you. What you notice with you know how the horses have the shades over its eyes so it don't get spooked. But as blinders. it turns at you, you didn't notice before because of the blinders. The eyes are red, looking dead at you. Okay. Oh, um, it was nice so knowing you. <laughs> let's head. I suggest we head away. We head away from that fog. That's bad. Yes, we need towards that structure. That animal on the butt. Bad. As <laughs> as we as we walk towards the, I guess the wall. I'll bring you guys back. Bring you back to with this. with hmm. the with my character's background. With I know of the strong. Roll me a history check. That is not one of my worst, but definitely not a good one. <laughs> I didn't okay. see it. No, I'm I haven't rolled it yet. I just noticed that it's only a plus one. Oh, oh you're talking about your you're talking about the actual ability score. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, oh my. <laughs> With absolute certainty. Yeah, you never actually heard that particular name before now. Boy. Okay. I, I guess I'll I guess I'll look at the driver and say, You there, where are we? Lancer. Is there any like letters or is there anything on the carriage to tell us what we should be doing? There's a symbol. I ring the symbol. <laughs> no, no, like... Oh, I didn't bring it. I didn't bring it over into um, full twenty. But it is a symbol of a raven. with kind of like a throne chair behind it. Oh, that's the same symbol that was on that um, something about it, that seal on the letter was a was a raven, was it not? I, and the letter who, said who, Strahd, but I didn't I didn't see said... the letter. I, I was gonna say, who saw the letter? Was it was just talking? I, I think I I saw Krom? I saw the I saw the letter with the seal, but I Crom's the one that read it. Oh, Crom would have recognized Strahd then. Probably. Maybe. Maybe, but I, I, I recognize kind of I recognize the the Raven as the as the seal on the letter. As you're examining the side of the chariot with the symbol and pulling out the letter and looking the driver smacks the horses and off into the mist and towards the gates my tackle um, <laughs> Balthier never got out no. <laughs> Balthier's still riding the roll. <laughs> Balthier's still roll, in dude. Balthier's still in, his, in the carriage as the mist is swallowing in <laughs> and I'm gonna look at the group and go we, we best be get a move on before we're stuck in the mist again all right, yeah, okay. yeah, I'm fine. So I see he's darting off. I'm going to jump out of the carriage and kind of roll to the side of the muddy road. Okay. Are these, are, are, are these lakes? Pools. Okay. Little pools. pools of black, glassy water. Yeah, I was just wondering if I could fish. That's all. Yeah, they're big enough to be... They're not like puddles. They're big enough to be like... If you're familiar with wetlands and, and swampy areas, it's, it's like pools of water. And I'm kind of brushing mud yeah. off me and everything yeah. after I get up. So Balfour jumps out, rolls into I, the mud and dirt as the carriage disappears. I go over and I help him up, and I like start wiping the mud off of him. <laughs> yep. And uh, I guess I'm just gonna start moving towards the towards the wall, towards the gate. Okay. Off to see the lizard. All right. So you walk f just down as could be here. As it's basically nighttime, you hear howling of wolves left and then right of you, then right of, left of you. Then right of you, as you're walking down this road, and the mist is enclosing behind you, like almost following you. Again, you hear those wolves howling on both sides of the roads. Um, eventually, as you walk through, the mist is kind of peeling away at that structure you're seeing, and more of the shape is coming into play um, as you get closer and closer. And you're probably traveling about a couple hours now. Um, you eventually walk up to basically a wall the gate structure it was like that cool and as the fog spills out of the forest and swallows up the road behind you head 
jutting from the impenetrable woods on both sides of the road are high stone buttresses looming gray in the fog. Huge iron gates hang on the stonework. Two clings with cold tenacity to the rusted bars. But two headless statues, left and right of the gate, and their arm flanked to the gate. Flanked on these both sides of the gate, and their arm, like they're holding swords right down their chest. You know, kind of a guard stance, if you will. Um, but they're headless statues. Um, their heads are now laying amongst the weeds at their feet. And they greet you in silence. Old dead stairs as you walk up to the iron gate. Are these statues alive? We'll, have we'll to find, find out. Poke it and I find sure out. hope not. <laughs> I guess uh is the gate is the gate open? No. Hmm. I guess I'll go up and, and look through the gate. Do I see anything on the other side of the gate? Okay, so as you approach the gate, and they're big, and they open up to the lands. So they automatically okay. open? They automatically open. And what you see past that no. is forest on both sides, as far as your eye can see, a winding path that kind of veers to the left, um, about as far as you can see. All right, and I'll, I'll, I'll raise my axe defensively, just, like, seeing the gates open in front of me. Okay. I do not like this place. I'm just going to keep on walking. Walk through. Mm -hmm. Everybody doing that? Uh, as long as they don't slam yeah. shut behind the frog again. Sure. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to the gate. I ain't going to stay. I'm not going to stay behind in the things. So we're going. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. going. I'm going. Yep. So everybody kind of walks through the gates. You pass about, about, I don't know, about it, 10, 20 yards or so, and the gates close behind you. And you walk through towering trees whose tops are lost in heavy gray mist, blocked out, all but a gray, death gray light, is from a moonlight. Three trunks are unnaturally close to one another, and the woods have a silence of a forgotten grave. Silence. You don't hear crickets. You don't hear birds. You don't hear any frogs at night. Nothing. Yeah, excluded. Huh? Yeah, excuse the feeling of an unvoiced scream. All right, that was an unneeded flavor text. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys travel probably about another hour, hour and a half. Um, you catch a scent of death. Something like would die had died recently and is rotting. You just kind of. Stings your nose is all of you. It wasn't me. <laughs> kind of stops you in your tracks. It's it's really strong. Like something has died recently and it's close by. I guess I'll 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 look around. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna venture far. I'll just take a take a look around. But I'm yeah. So you get you look around, you're, you know, you're stiff in the air. Uh, you look on the sides of the road. You don't see nothing, but uh, you, you kind of get a scent, sense that the scent is coming towards the left because of the forest at one side, or actually both sides, is starting to open up. And then what you can see off in the distance, kind of a river, a little bit. And oh. you get a sense that it's it's coming from that direction. I'll go with them just because of the water. Is it, <laughs> it, it is it is it night or is it day? Night. It's perpetually it's night. Okay. night, it seems. Oh, perpetually night? Okay. Yay. Perpetual night. Like, um, um is it, is it a, um, what, is it, like, pitch black? Like, is it a dark vision kind of night? Or is it, like, uh, is there, well, like I guess gloomy, there's no moon, gray. right? Because everything's blocked out with the, with the, the, That's a good point. The so, uh, the tree, like, the, so uh, there's a light the glow. Tree. There's a light glow in the mist that's over above you, essentially. Um, okay. Like, like full moonlight against clouds. It, it kind of lights okay. the area up. That's how you're able to spot the river so far. And it's, it's probably a good gotcha. maybe 200 yards out. You can see like rushing water coming down. I'm going to shake my fishing pole at him. Start walking towards the river. Okay. So he, he shakes his fishing pole and he points to the river and he starts, starts walking off. Off the road into the 
down into the grasslands, if you will, heading out toward the river. Uh, to the river? I, I call after him that I wouldn't do that if I were you. I don't think we need to be wandering off into the woods. <laughs> I'm just going to lean into Balthier and be like, I do not trust this frog. It is not that far. You said it's a couple hundred feet. It's like it's the river yards. right there. It's 200 yards. Yeah, yeah my point exactly. Okay. That's okay, 200 but... yards farther off the road than we need to venture. Yeah, what we're you, walking in a different direction. We need to venture. He's going to get Frodo Baggins by a giant octopus. Have fun. Okay. All right. they're, they're, they're all freaking out at the frog. Right? Go ahead. Well, they're no. I just terrified yeah. and they want call me to come back. You. Just call that we don't. We don't care what you do. I just no, said I wouldn't. Okay. Cool. And I walk in another direction. I call <laughs> after you. I wouldn't do that if I were you. All right, so the rest of the, the rest of the party is kind of staring in the woods and they start to slowly move forward a little bit. Uh, and Corgo heads down to the river. Uh, as he gets closer to the river, the, the stench of death getting stronger and stronger. And actually, he's starting now to track it, essentially. And what he sees now is a... I'm trying to find it now. I lost it. Yeah, at least uh, you see a human corpse half buried in the underbrush right next to kind of kind of about say 20 yards away from the actual river bank um and it's half buried in underbrush about and the young man appears to be well how do you know the man but it's a young man appears to be a commoner his muddy clothes are torn and raked wall marks crows have been at the body uh and surrounding the area of the corpse is paw prints like a huge wolf and Man has always been dead for several days. But you notice in one of his hands lays there as crumpled envelope in I will snatch the envelope. Uh and head back. You snatch it as you quickly looked at it before you stuck it in you tuck it in away or you got it in your hand. I just I got it in my hand. I'm just gonna bring it back to the group. Uh Okay. So as you walk him real quick, as you walk him back to the road the group's kind of like slowly mingering a little bit. Um, you kind of notice that there, it's an envelope, and on the back where uh, it closes, there's a wax seal, red wax seal, pressed into it is a large B. B is in boy. Parchment is worn, it's flimsy. Okay. And you come back to the road with the rest of the party. Yep. I'm gonna say in primordial, uh, found a body and this letter and I think we should get away from the woods because I've seen wolf prints as well I will I will translate and hold out my hand for the envelope mm -hmm. yeah I'll give it to her as you, as you got to the road and you had a conversation you hear a, a very loud howling of wolves and I'm going to urge them Come on down the path further. <laughs> and I'm going to look at Tarnock and go, now he wants to walk the path. <laughs> well, I didn't want to stay in the woods. I seen a clearing in a river. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I'll, I'll continue down the, down the road. <clears throat> right on down. Yes, I will as well, and I will have my my bow out. Uh, I will have my glaive out, and I put my rapier away. Not I asked Zephyr, which. what's the letter type? I'll hand it to him. Okay, so as you're... You hand it to Balfour as you're walking down the road. I'm going to break the seal on the letter so I can read it. Okay. Crap. Hmm. And I'm gonna send this to Well the question is you're gonna read it privately or you're gonna read it out loud? I'll read it out loud. Here's your letter. Oops. I'll read it for the stream. I, Burgomaster of Barovia. Oh Hail thee of might and valor. I, the Burgomaster of Barovia. I wanna say Burgomaster from the um, Christmas. <laughs> 
The bro bro who master of Brovia send you honor with despair. My adopted daughter, the fair Irina Colana, Colana, Juliana, Juliana has been these past nights bitten by a vampire. For over 400 years, this creature has drained the life blood of my people. Now, my dear Irina languishes and dies from an unholy wound caused by this vile beast. He has become too powerful to conquer. I'm going so to interrupt and tell everybody that I got bit as well. I realized I didn't mention that. <laughs> I'm going to immediately be... turn and turn around and point my bow at him. <laughs> yep. And I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to translate because I'm going to be so in shock. I'm just going to point my bow at and him. I'm, and I'm going to, and I'm going to stand back uh, what? with my, with my ax and say, what, what did he say? He said he was bit. Bitten by what? What? Strahd. Yeah. The guy who let you guys out of that house. He says it was by Strahd. I lick my eyeballs. <laughs> uh, I will ask him to show me his neck. I mean, yeah. I'll well, turn they keep around. discussing this. I'm going to still continue to read this letter. Okay. So as you okay. continue on, real quick, everybody's looking at the neck of Quirgle. There's no bite marks at all. Nothing. Okay. Valfir's still reading. So I say to you, uh, give us up your dead and encircle this land with symbols of good. Let holy men call. Ugh, let holy men call upon their power that the devil may be contained within the walls of weeping Barovia. Leave our sorrows to the grave and save the world from this evil fate of ours. There is much wealth entrapped in this community. Return for your reward after we all depart for a better life. Sign. Burger Master. Polian oh. and Dorovich. Polian and Dorovich. Thank you. Uh, the Burger Man. And Ubby just <laughs> Burger Master. I want th I want that person on my team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <All> right. <clears throat> I wonder what that means. And give us up for dead and encircle this land with symbols of good. Call holy men upon their power. Save the world from. This evil fate of ours. Mm. Can, uh, well, I, can, can I can roll any team. kind of check? I'm sorry, what? Can I roll any kind of check to try to figure out what he's trying to say there? Well, like what? <clears throat> <clears throat> Can I assume, I I assume that this, I assume Barovia? that the town that we just entered is Barovia, right? Since he's the Burgermeister of Barovia, right? And apparently he sent this letter leave us for dead but the letter never made it to where it was going if we if it was found on a body just outside the gates or just inside the gates actually um give me a intelligence check um uh, bully okay just intelligence okay all right so oh that's Better than I did. <laughs> it's fair nope. enough. Uh, what you're getting from it is basically saying, "Give us, up, give us up for dead, and encircle this land with symbols of good." So basically, what he you can kind of get the at beast. It directly. Trap the beast in the land. Don't worry about us. Let us up for dead. Trap this beast, the devil, with symbols of holy or good, uh, to basically trap him in his own land, and nobody can come in and out, and just let us die. That knowledge, eventually. So Except he, he, he wants it. us. Yeah. Okay. But he wants he wants somebody to uh, basically mm -hmm. just cut off Barovia from the rest of the world, so that it, and leave Barovia for this devil. Correct. Mm -hmm. The vampire. It actually says vampire, right? Mm hmm. <clears throat> yes. Um, <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. And you're bit? Yeah. All yeah, right, I'll, so. I'll, I'll tell them again everything that happened in the conversation outside. And, uh, yeah, let's just get all that out of the way. Okay. So, what? And I'll relay, I'll relay that. Yeah. Okay. Again, you're, you're searching around his neck. There is no wound. Right. But he's, he's swearing. Yeah, he got bit. So he tells us everything that was said and everything that happened, then, correct? Yeah, yeah. And that strategy. So we vampire. find out that so. he was willing to just give us up and just let us, you know, fend for ourselves, and he was going to go to be the successor for Strahd. I, yeah, I include the part where I tried to open the gate and it disappeared. And had no idea that you guys were taking exhaustion damage. <laughs> and I tried to get you freed with the deal, which didn't work. But go ahead. Yep, yeah, you fair still, enough. Basically. Then afterwards, you still made a deal with the devil. That's okay. All right. No. My guy named Strahd. Oh, yes, he's speaking it's, stupid it's stuff okay. again. It's well, fine. It's he's sorry. speaking stupid again. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to point to the letter in Balfir's hand and say, obviously, it never made it to who it was supposed to, who it was intended for. It does not say who it was intended for. Well, a lot of good it did the corpse by the river. This may be only one letter. They may have sent more. Something got through because we're trapped here, too. I'm going to ignore it and not translate it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, don't I don't trust this little uh, frog. So just then you hear the howl closer of a wolf. Let us make haste. And now it sounds like more more than one. I'll I'll grip my axe again and and we'll keep we'll keep moving. <clears throat> All right, so you, you're continuing on uh, down the road, and you come basically. Yeah, you look like you're over a hill, right? You're coming down, um, and he tops of a village, smoke stacks of the fireplaces and stuff like that, and you continue you basically walk in to a village. That's a, probably not about an hour travel. <clears throat> do, do, do. So, as you come down, and the mist is kind of peeling away. Now, the, the mist is thin around this region. You can actually see, like, say, the river, and it kind of winds off to your left out to a distant, few, uh, distant location that you can't see past. Um, but you can see the tall shapes as the mist is pulling back just for a little flavor. And the tall shapes loom out of that dense fog. It surrounds everything. And the muddy ground underfoot gives way to slick, wet cobblestones as you get closer to the Tall shapes become recognizable as village dwellings. The windows of each house, though, stare out of pools of blackness. Can't tell if it's a curtain behind here or just no lights. Funny enough, there's no sound. Except for a morning sobbing that echoes through the streets from a distance at the first of the town itself. You walk in from the town. You passed about three village homes. And there's a T cross section, an intersection. Go forward. You got a row of homes to your right on both sides, a row of homes to your left. But um, right at that corner, there's two kids. One that looks like to be about a 10 year old girl. One looks to be, be about a 7 year old boy holding a doll. And they're pointing down the street as they notice you. There's a monster in our basement. Our parents ran back to the house. But they haven't returned. <laughs> I'm just gonna, oh, Lord, I'm just gonna scoff at them and keep walking. <clears throat> my tongue hits my eye, like when you wake up and you got a fist in your eye and you're like rubbing it back and forth, so you can see better. <laughs> <laughs> the talk blows past the two, uh, the two children. He's going straight, I'm assuming. Um. Yeah. Yes. Turn about I'm making sure I kind of walk around and away from the kids and same following, yep. you know, talking to Tarnak. Yep. 
Going with the group. Yep. Did it look like uh, Rosenthorn? Looks exactly like how you remember Rosenthorn. Great. Okay. So there's a <laughs> there is a mobile house that's just going around, <laughs> just swallowing up <clears throat> random travelers, huh? Just moving from place to place, just. She's moving Anybody who's in. dumb enough to go um, in. That's well, fine. Where did we right. enter? From the east or the west, I'm assuming. Came in from the east, this way. You, the two kids were right here in this intersection, pointing down the street. The street we walked left. down before. Does the street look like the one we walked down before to the house? Is that what it looks like? Nope. All cobblestone. No, because yeah. Can can we see can we see this open square from where we are? Yeah. So as you you know pass the kids and they're kind of like creeped out. Obviously, there's a there's a road cobblestone to the right and uh, the road keeps going down. It looks to be at the end, as far as you can see, opens up almost like a, to a, a town center if you want to call it that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really creepy here. There's, there's like nobody around. There's no it's completely silent except for weeping woman that it's echoing through the yeah so, so you get to, go ahead are we here is that you're we you're we're, technically we're here yeah technically uh, you're right here when you saw the kids when i'm and talk moved forward if you will he went that way about this location but i'm describing this area is as far as you can see uh you could tell right before the town center there is a it is a building with one light on. It's very sparse coming out of a window that's lighting the ground up. So we walk to the window to that building. I'm going to say out loud, it's it's far too quiet here. Except for the weeping of a old woman. Where you know, is a woman. He here? Can we determine where we hear her from, or is it kind of all around? It's kind of bound at this at this point in the village where you're at. It's kind of like echoing off every wall, every every house wall. It's it's kind of hard to pinpoint. It just it is real faint from your distance. Did you hear it? So it's hard to kind of pick oh, up no, the direction. So we, we can't discern it. Not maybe not a specific spot, but a direction that we hear it maybe stronger from. I uh, I give you that. Since you've come in from the east, you didn't really hear. But as you came down this road a little farther, you, you're getting a sense of volume. Okay. You said we see one house that's got light. Yeah, you got light right in this region. Okay, I guess we'll continue to make our way down that way cautiously. Yep. <clears throat> Sounds good. Everybody in agreement with that? Cartwheeling along. <laughs> yep, yeah, I am. All on talk. Okay, so that sparse light does spill out from this building, spills out into from behind drawn heavy curtains that are drawn, but behind there is lighting up and a little bit of light is getting through the curtain, spilling over. A sign over the door creaks on its hinges and it reads Bell Drafts Person Tell. B I L D -E R. A T H Osri S Merchantel. This looks to be about a 70 foot long building, 40 feet wide, so it goes 70 feet, 70 feet towards the back, right? So you're on a street. Look back, let's see the house next to it, about 70 feet that, uh, you know, long, but it's 40 feet wide, that roughly. You said it says Beldrath's uh, Mercantile? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to the door and I'm actually going to knock on the door. Yeah, I, I will stand to the side of the door with him. Stand at the bottom of the steps. Yep, I'll be I'll be in the street looking, looking back and forth where we came from and, and towards the square. Okay. I'm trying to trying to keep eyes out and about as well as what's going at. I think I'm just going to sit on the stoop, put my hand in my head. Okay. Turn my... 
as you knock on a door, you hear very stark. Who is it? My name is Balfir. I am with a group of acquaintances. We don't know where we are. Could you give us some information? I'm actually trying to pull up his uh, character reference. Find it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Maybe it's under shopping or something. Well, it. So it's yeah, it's under that. It's under the the name of his building, and it, it usually has a link to go back. <clears throat> Do I can pull up a sheet, but the link's not there. That's awesome. <laughs> What's the name of the shop? I'll try to find you, Paige. Yeah, Meredith, or the Baldrath. The Baldrath Mercantile. Yeah, I will. Uh, I think I got what I need. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, the Brick that Merchant. Um. Whole right, story's this... ruined. Yeah, I know. All nights Jeez. Away. Jeez. Uh, what, what was the question again? Um, uh, uh, um, no. Well, uh, I had, um, I said I was with some acquaintances. We don't know where we are, and I asked if he could provide us any information. Come on in. Okay, I open the door, and before I open the door, I look at Zephyr, and I kind of whisper to her, "Keep your bow it. at the ready." And then I open the door. All right. You open the door and you see basically a. Um, it's closed. Why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> At least it's easy enough to reopen. Oh, yeah. and one other thing before I walk in, I am going to do my disguise self, so I'm going to look like a six and a half foot tall human. Okay. Did you cast that on you as you come walking in? You see a. Give me any kind of description. Oh. All right, so he's basically a balding, human, pale, uh, rough-looking face, like almost like angry. Um, it was right at the uh, seller's table, if you will, like the register area. And around, you see what's like a veteran gear, right? So you see um, swords, you see shields, you see your chains and hooks. Uh, climbing materials. Basically, you get a sense that this is uh, a shop for adventure. Um, and you see this yeah, medium medium build uh, older gentleman. Probably probably in the late 40s. Uh, balding. As sitting behind, basically, his register. And here you come in as a six foot male, I think you said? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm going to be, you know, a human male and everything like that. You know, um... My facial features, like, you know, my facial hair is the same as what, you know, my fur book looks like. I look like I'm a guy that's probably in, like, his mid-20s. Okay. The hell? So as you come, <clears throat> as you come walk in, you do notice there's a curtain behind him, kind of dividing half, half the building. You, you got a sense that it was, like, tw- uh, 70 feet long, so there's, you kind of move in about 40 feet, so there's probably more footage behind here. Honestly, probably something behind here for maybe reshaping sword or something like that, so... Well, what can I do for you this time of night? Well, we kind of, you know, just, you know, woke up in the area and we have no idea where we are. And you're the first place that's actually shown any signs of life. So we don't know what's going on around here. We've been hearing a lot of wolves and everything, but that's been about it. Huh. Ah, seems the devil's got a new group. Doesn't surprise me. Devil? Who's this devil? The devil. Strahd? <laughs> yeah, I figured he'd be playing with your mind. Yeah, I don't know who this Strahd is. 
What information Ooh. can you give me about him? <laughs> well, we dare not talk about him's name at all. As you, as you, uh, a different dimension as you come into the village, uh, towards, if you're looking at the map where I got you, you got the north, west, you can enter from the east. So you're looking at towards the northwest, on top of a cliff is a castle, a big, huge castle that's looming over the village. That? Sorry, front, uh, yeah, roughly in that direction. No, 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 okay. not that one. It's far in the distance, but you can see it. Oh, it's far oh. in the distance, okay. Yeah. No, we, we, we dare not talk about it. If, if you're his playthings, and God help you. I'd like to go in and just look at uh, wares, not okay. saying anything to anyone, just eye, okay. or eye it up. Okay. Comes in, he's looking at this frog. Never seen your kind around here. Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your pet as he looks at Belfer? He's not mine. He seems to follow us around. Hmm. And before okay. you ask, I have no idea what he says. I don't understand him at all. <laughs> well, I mean, are you going to buy something? I mean, there, there's an inn right down the road, and he points like towards the other inn, north side of the town square. There is a little room. Cuts off, and you see uh, where he's kind of pointing at. Okay. I mean, um, I'm glancing around to see if there's anything that I need. I look over at Zephyr and I ask her, uh, "Is there anything she needs?" Do we need food? I know I need more or more arrows. Have any arrows, good sir? And I'll look over at Kirkle, and I'll be, and I'll tell him wave everyone inside. Okay, I'll go back outside and wave everyone in. <laughs> I'm gonna stand right where I am, at the bottom of the stairs. Outside. I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna walk to Tarnock and and ask him, what do you what do you make of this place? I get a very bad feeling. I agree. Uh -huh. Is there? I wonder if there's a place to stay. Is do. Do we know if it seems like it's always night, or if like the sky seems to be like moving, time progressing? The reason, the reason why I say it I no seems to be everything that he has explained so far has been night. But I don't. We don't know. I but know. the guy. Well, the guy said this time of night when he walked inside. Um, I, I know. I don't know that. But that's why I'm asking if the, the oh, sky out of character. Okay. Yeah, like does 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 the moon appear to be moving in the sky, or does any? I mean, I I know we can't see it, but uh, you know, I'll I'll give you that. So as you were traveling down the road to get here, you passed hours, right? Yes, there is a sense of light movement, like the. the... Okay. I'll give you that. So there there I'll could be a daytime. We think. Yeah. Okay. There could be. As far as far as we know, it's just the middle of the night. So. Okay. So um. So then we should probably find a tavern then. So the gentleman's working behind the desk. He's like arrows, huh? <laughs> yeah, I got plenty of arrows. More of people like you come through. They don't seem to last too long. So we kind of pick up what you guys leave back. But yeah, we got it for sale. Twenty for a quiver. Twenty arrows per quiver. Five gold mm -hmm. piece each. For quiver. Looking for the fishing uh, gear. <laughs> they, they probably have some. Um, I, I will. Ha I having no negotiating power. Uh, <laughs> we'll just go ahead and pay and pay the five. Five gold. Twenty. Quiver arrows to you. Anything else? It's not safe to be out here at night. I, I'd rather close up shop and <laughs> leave you guys to. Uh, your... I will. I will hold out the the black leather eye patch with the Caribbean gem in it <laughs> and see if he wants to buy it. He looks oh, at the nice. gem. Looks at the gem. What was the price I, I tagged that with? Five thousand gold, I think. 
A uh, fifty thousand gold. Yeah, exactly. Fifty. Yeah. Fifty thousand well, gold. Me, let me check on that. Um. <laughs> What, you don't believe us? You doubt us? I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm pretty confident it was, you know, 50,000 gold. <laughs> I have that. At least one comma. At least one comma. At least one comma. It might have been 50 million. You know, it's hard to remember with these things. <laughs> you guys are bad. You're just messing with me because I almost killed you. Oh, you, come on. It has nothing to do with you <laughs> almost killing us. We'd mess with you anyways. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true, true, that's true. actually. That's true. I can't remember what price I gave you. It, it was 50. It was 50. He yeah, looks at this gym around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll give you 30 gold for this rock. I take it because I have no negotiating power. <laughs> Thank you. Put it away. So who's in the shop and who's out of the shop? I think Tarnock and Talk are still standing out in the street. Yeah. Second. I'm Where's out in the street Krom? with Talk. Okay. I was just saying, like, I haven't heard from Crom in a minute. Yes, yeah, Crom. So it's just me, Zephyr, and uh, Prickle. Okay. As we're doing, as uh, Balfour, Zephyr, and Corgo are doing business inside a shop, Tarnock, Crom. Uh, um, talk, talk. Sorry, oh, I already said talk. Um, do you hear a sound of a small wooden wheels rolling across damp cobbles? As you turn to look down one street where the kids were sitting at, the kids are gone. Uh, you see a hunched figure, bundled in rags, pushing a rickety wooden cart through, the, you know, the mist and the fog around there, and it's making. Yeah, so it was <laughs> going down this way. So it's starting to make it make it a right turn. So the kids around the corner pointing towards a house. She's coming out of that and making a turn. A hunch figure pushing uh, a, what looks like a, a rickety wooden cart coming towards you. Come coming out of the house that the kids were pointing at. No, come out of the street. Oh, okay, I got you. So, for example, they they were here, pointing towards the north of that street, towards a house, right. which they're actually pointing at this house right here. Uh, but she's coming down the street. I was just giving you a direction of the street that they were coming out of. She's gotcha. Here, okay. making a right turn here, to head towards Headed your direction. Towards us. Gotcha. You guys are here. You guys are here. Is there somebody driving the cart? It's a it's a, a hunched over figure pushing a two wheeled cart up the street. Pushing. Yeah, like I get like a like a wheelbarrow kind of two wheels. Is the is the door open to the shop? When we closed it. I would have left it open. I thought you guys were coming in. Okay, so I'll call in and ask um, to ask for directions to a tavern or an inn. And I just point kind of up north, or you know where he had pointed. I see he's he said there's one just up that way. Okay. As 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 the uh, the owner is hearing that rickety cart get closer and closer, I think our business is done here. Uh, I, I I think y'all need to go. Did I see uh, any of the stuff I was looking for? I'm sorry, one more time. Oh, he had asked prior if uh, there was a net to replace his. Yeah, if, uh, if I sure. can find uh... net or or fine cloth or uh, I don't know ropes. I, I grab all those and throw it on the uh, counter. Okay. If I can reach. <laughs> Minor, real quick. Funny. I could tell you net price is normally that? one gold. All right, we'll just play it that way. You went to net. Yeah, net, fine cloth. They have that kind of stuff there, and uh, rope. Yeah, and I'll I'll translate the price for him. Fish. I am so thrilled right now. Fine cloth. Let me see if I need to more room. 
I don't know if an equipment shop would have. Yeah, so as you're going, you see new. If fine any of the adventurers had fine clothing, right? I think it'd be more of a tailor. It's more of a tailor shop. It's more venturing gear. Yeah, but I got I got an idea. If you want to, well, there's. Uh, so I, I, you're correct. Um, you do see fine cloth. And you also find your net. Cool. So you take that together. You so throw it on a table as he's trying to shoot you out. He looks looks at the frog. Do you even have money? Yeah, I, I got. Uh, I'll jingle my change. Oh yeah, like, once somebody translates. Yeah, I'll, tra <laughs> I'll translate for him. The frog said the, he's jingling it. I don't know if he has enough money. Hurry up, frog. Well, for all that, it's fifty gold pieces. You have fifty. I'll leave that shit. Sorry, I don't got it. Okay, the frog doesn't have it. Thank you, good sir. See you in the morrow. See you tomorrow. See you walk out. Slam the door. And, and I start, and if I see the guys running or ahead of us, I'm gonna start moving towards them quickly. If you come down there in the middle of the street, you come down and you look, and you're hearing the wooden cart move up too, pushing. And it's kind of a hunch, and it's got a limp. We cart. get up to them, and I say, uh, I think he heard the person with that cart, and he got jumpy real quick, guys. Let's hurry. Well, uh, let's let's head to the inn. Okay, you guys take off um, into the basically uh, turn around behind you, go around the building, and you see the end, and you're rushing into the door, and that is where we're going to end our session. Dun 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 dun. As you burst into the end, you're basically at a, at a quick pace stride. Nice. Oh, thank you, Mr. DM. Nice. You're welcome. So, so uh, Dom, Dom redeemed a, a lucky. Now I know, were we were we planning on using the gizmos for this campaign or just for the uh, lost mines? We can do it for this one. I'm gonna probably be not as generous with some of the some of the uh, epic loot. Okay, but like the other stuff, like the uh, the arcane recoveries and the the luckies and the stuff like that, inspiration. Yeah. You go most of that stuff. Okay, yeah. I can always tailor the encounter. For okay, so so the, so the loot, so so the loot will be it'll basically be the thing that gets uh, gets nerfed. Correct. You can still do it. I just it may take me a couple sessions to get it rolled into oh, the game. Oh yeah, no, understandable. Understandable. But the other stuff, the other stuff, I'm easily I can counter the the balance of that. Right. Well, basically, let's see. What do what do we have? We have uh, inspiration, lucky. Um, Cure wounds, spare the dying, extra action, uh, an arcane recovery, uncanny dodge, and uh, a magic missile. That's a lot. Just so you know, this today's session was two pages of notes. <laughs> I have. Yeah, you're gonna have to what? Uh, you have to trim that down a little bit. No. Fizz, thank, <laughs> Fizz, thank you for that in Discord. Actually, I was losing track of time. <laughs> I was into. Yeah, it. no worries. So, yeah, I was enjoying myself, but I didn't know if anybody else had a time restraint. I know no, last week, really. Corgi had to go at 8. Yeah, every, every now and again, I have something where I need to leave, but I didn't have one today. Yeah, yeah I just wasn't usually... sure, so when I noticed oh, it was fair. the past, I'm like, okay, yep. maybe, maybe mention yeah, this. <laughs> so that's... Yep. That... No, I'm, I'm usually here for the duration. So that, that adventure in the beginning is called the Death House. Uh, it's yep. like Phoenix. Oh, real quick, everybody's level 3. Woohoo! Oh, oh man, that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff. That, that is a lot of level stuff. Four, level four is a good one though. Level four is a good one. Yeah, so, but level three is level three is pretty good too. But I, I'll forewarn you guys can go ahead. I'm gonna I got to the position now. I can start uploading videos because we're past that death house. Uh, if you go read it, I completely changed it. So I, I hope you liked it. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Um, so what do I do about the equipment? Levels. Cause like uh, like asked out, like I threw the net. Now I don't have a net. Yeah, you have to wait. Um, I mean, you could always buy rope and then spend some sessions or some. I, I literally have right. weaver's tools. Have... That's why I was asking about the rope oh. as well. But there, there was no rope. There was fine cloth and net. Oh, there was. I, well, there, I, I, I'm there sorry. Was rope. There was rope there, bud. 
Okay. I, I was trying to imagine like uh, the, the fine cloth trying to find that, and I noticed you said knit. I said, all right, I'll just give it to you. So, but there is rope there too. Okay. We're gonna have to get jobs because I don't have the gold. Well, I'll, I'll tell I'll tell the silly frog when he's sitting on the floor complaining. I'm like, they had rope. You were just so damn sure you couldn't see it. <laughs> Manage level, change level level three. Manage HP. So how are we doing HP? Is it? It's just the. We're just doing the. The, the auto the auto one. Um, we're doing we're doing max right now, right? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. max. Oh, we're doing max. Oh. Uh, no wonder I'm so Fine. close to Fixed. dead all the time. Fixed the man. I thought we did that. I thought we discussed that in the second one. I thought we actually got you to your max. That was max. Uh, well, last... I mean, we might have, but whether I heard it. I have not, 10 hit points, thing. so I doubt it. All right. So oh, I have a. Uh... So, so, all right. So if, I do want, I do do, want to say do one you thing. Want to, do you 30, want to change 30. over? Do you want to change to average after third level? Or do you want to. You don't want to keep us max all the way through this whole campaign, or do you? Maybe. I'll, I'll hit that road when I come to it. Uh, I'm not. Okay. I'll just go max for now. Just leave me. Just leave me the obligation to maybe nerf that a little bit later on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I do want to applaud, um, uh, Fizz for a decent well RP session there with Strahd. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks. Our little vampy frog. It was so awkward. Because <laughs> I, uh -huh. I, like, I'm hearing you guys die. Yeah. You know, out of the game. Well, yeah, out of you know? the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just seemed like every thought you were getting closer, I'm like, oh my god, I don't have the time to speak. <laughs> I'm immune to disease, yo. So, uh, nice. uh, cool. I also tested the ability to uh, take the map away and just work through your mind. I think that worked out great. It did. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. I know some of the stream trying to, uh, it doesn't have a lot of visuals, but it's like almost like a podcast but you take that stuff away that distractions you can just really get into the mind part of it and immerse yourself you're not worrying about maybe for the stream just make one token that's a party token pull it into a room and then you could zoom in idea. on that part so that the stream could see the room that's fair and kind of visualize the things and listen to us uh walk around all right Ubdi, have a good night thanks for hanging out man yeah, yeah so so my side i was actually showing maps <laughs> so just enough water. but yeah uh, cool. so my, cool. my 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 guys uh on my stream were seeing what i was describing to them. but oh, i cool. had a lot of fun i was looking forward to that uh turn of events at the end nice it's fun yeah all right so for the stream, I'll wave goodbye for everybody. Yes. Okay, I'm back. My stream. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Um, Bye. you still streaming, bully? No, I'm ending my stream. Stream's ended. You're ending, ending your stream? Okay. Stream ended. Anybody right. still up? Everybody. Um, no. I was gonna, I was gonna sit and chat and paint with bully a little bit if you wanted to, but uh. Oh, I'm just ending my stream. I'm not. My D and D oh. Beyond is not letting me change my max. Do, do uh, you have something in the override position? Like, uh, okay. is there any, is there anything written yeah, in override? If, yeah, if you click manage HP, instead of changing your fixed HP, just add it to your HP. All right, guys, I'm gonna mute Discord there a little bit. Abdi, have a good night if you're still around. Um, see everybody on Wednesday for the Lost Mines, which we're finishing up that and gonna move on to the expansions. Good times, good times. So I'll see everybody then. Nobody really to raid. So uh I'll throw over the in credits here. And as always, thanks everybody.